Pick my towers, guys. Pick them. Shoot them. Go. Throw them at me. Whatever you guys want. You guys get to choose. First towers that I see. Where's the first towers that I pick? Ice. I saw ice. Alright, ice. Ninja. Alright, ninja it up. And Spike Factory. Wonderful. Love the tower combos, guys. You guys are absolutely brutal. You guys are brutal. You guys you guys are you guys are gonna kill me so hard today. Alright, I gotta be honest with you guys. Um today's gonna be a weird, weird, weird day. We're probably gonna lose about 10, 15 trophies. Um, I don't know. I don't know how today is going to go down. I truly don't. I, I have no idea. We're going to try something weird and wild and crazy. We're going to go for an enhanced freeze ice tower in the bottom corner down here. <laughs> I know. Real freaking ridiculous. You guys would have never expected it. You guys are too slow. Too low, man. Too slow. Too slow. You guys are way too freaking slow. Alright, so I've got an issue. Um, I just want to be straight with you guys. I have two things going on. Uh, number one, I am a minute, a minute, not crazy, just a minute. Okay, don't get go, don't go crazy on me here. Just a minute amount of um. Uh, I don't know if I can say this in the first 44 minutes of the stream, but we're going to just go for it. We're, we've had a few, uh, drinks. Okay. As simple, simple as I could put it. Uh, we've had a few of them. Uh, second thing is that my ear is broken. I don't understand what's going on. I hope that I'm not dying. Uh, there's no guarantees. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Yep, boys! Boys, come on, make some plays! Make some plays! Come on, little ninja friend! There we go! Beautiful, beautiful! Exactly what you want to see. Uh, my ear is broken. So, I had an issue. Um, today, I was not feeling very good. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it is. Oh no, my ice tower. Bro. 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 No. I uh, ninja, do a better job, dude, please do better. Come on, thorns it up. Thorns it up. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got the whites covered. We got the whites covered. Uh my ear is broken. Um I don't know how to explain. I I was not feeling very good earlier today. And I decided to take a quick nap kind of situation. It was like a half nap kind of thing. Um, I call it a half nap. All right, I, it was it was not a true nap. I was listening to an audiobook and I accidentally fall asleep for like five minutes. It's like a mini nap, you know, just something. And oh, mm, we're losing lives. And when I woke up, my ear was broken. Uh, I don't know how to put it better than that. It just was broken. It it was messed up. Uh. All right. Well, all right. Bigger stacks it up. Bigger stacks. Bigger stacks, baby. Bigger stacks. All right. Now 62 life. No problem. No freaking problem, man. That's no big deal. No big deal. So my ear, um, I hear ringing noises all the time right now. And it's really annoying. Like every sound that I, at, that happens is ringing. Uh, sounds don't sound right either, which is kind of annoying. I don't like it. I don't want it to be the case, but it is the case. Anyways, we see a Hydra Rocket Pods here, so we know we're freaking boned, man. But we're going to try to deal with this bonage in the best way possible. We're going to go for a bottom path here. We're going to go for a Flash Bomb. Hope this Flash Bomb keeps us in the game here, through the middle part of the game here. But there's no, no, no guarantee. My ear, it's broken. Whatever it is, I don't care. I don't, I don't care how to explain it. I... Yeah, I got, uh, it's, it's very broken, though, like, compared to usual. It's not like, oh, I'm hearing some ringing noise. Like, everybody hears ringing noise every once in a while. Um. Oh, crap, I accidentally sent out a bunch of whites. All right, well, that's not good. Um, flash bomb, flash bomb, get a flash bomb. There we go, we got a flash bomb. That's Camelot popping power. Right there, right there. Uh, it was very quick. Happened all at once. 
And um, all I can tell you is that uh, my ear doesn't work anymore. That's all I can tell you guys. That's what we got going on right now. Uh, yeah, so it hasn't, it's not better yet. It's been about five hours, six hours now, and everything sounds annoying. Everything sounds terrible. I hate life, but it is what it is. All right, what are we doing right now? I don't know. What are we doing right now? Let's, let's go greens for a little bit. I'm going to go for a, oh, what's this guy got? Let's get a laser shocker. Is it a laser shocker? Or is it a, oh, it looks like powerful darts. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Maybe, just maybe we can make some plays here, guys. Maybe. It's not, a, it's not a guarantee. It's just a maybe. Just a maybe. We might be able to get a ceramic rush to cause some problems. So we're going to go for a regen rainbow ceramic combo. Ready for this? Check this out. We're going to go regen rainbow. Boom, 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 boom. Couple ceramics in there. Couple regen rainbows. Couple ceramics. Couple regen rainbows, we're gonna blue boost. Bloom boost that crap. Bloom boost. Oh. He did have hydro rocket pods with the uh, laser shot. Oh, we did a few lives of damage. <laughs> you guys think we have doctors in America? I don't wanna bankrupt myself. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh, crap. All right, what do we got going on here? I don't have any fourth-tier ninjas yet. All right, we're going to go something wild here. We're going to go boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sexy. Sexy. Very sexy. Uber sexy. Oh, we take it down. Freaking beastly, boys. Freaking beastly. <laughs> Can't see a doctor. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. YouTube does not give health insurance. I want you guys to... Uh, to know that I'm self-employed through YouTube. I am not, um, I do not work for YouTube. I do not work for Google. They're, they basically are just like, no, we don't, we don't do that, bro. They should have, like, a, honestly, if YouTube wanted to help people out, if they have, like, a certain amount of, if they make a certain amount of money per month or something like that, they should really do some sort of health insurance and 401k nonsense and all that kind of stuff. So we really do make YouTube, like, a lot of money, you know? Like, hook us up, bro, hook us up. There's a lot of us, like, in this boat, but we're not freaking rich. We're not making billions of dollars. We're not millionaires. We're just normal people making videos for a living. You know, that's what I do. All right, round 19. All right, we gotta make some plays. Round, it's round 20 here soon. Uh, I've got 947 income. That's not good. I'm just gonna wait it out. We're gonna hope that it gets better after time, man. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have ears anymore. Good news is, is I do have two ears. So if I do have an ear infection and, you know, it just magically just happens to be something that kills my ears and I can't hear any more of that ear. I got a second one. Got backup. It's good to have backup. All right, we're going to do something a little wild and sexy. A little wild and crazy. A little, little weird. We're going to go for a whoop, whoop, whoop. Moab Shredder. With big stacks, of course. We're all up here. We want our mobs to pop up here. Here's a BFB coming out against me, though. All right, we got to get some defense. Let's get some balloon defense. Let's go for a cryo cannon. I think. Not entirely sure. Here we go. Reinforce BFB. How we doing? How we doing? That spike factory is... Oh, he rocket storms it. Blood boost. Take him down. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right here? Holy crap. Nuggets. He's down to 14 lives right now, but it is not game over yet, my friends. Here we go. We got a Zomga coming out. Zomga. All right, we got to rush with some blues underneath this crap, man. We got it. We got it. We have to. It's a guarantee. It's a necessite. Uh, he's probably going to go for some sort of... Let's go for a uh, regen. No. Yes. Let's go for some... Oh, he's going to freaking shred that crap. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, regen rainbows. Here we go, baby. Full out. Regen rainbows. Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try for it. We're all out in here, boys. We're all out. And this is all we got. Regen Rainbows, he's taking everything down, man. Why are these Regen Rainbows doing nothing? And we see a balloon boost coming out. He's going to spread that shredder. Oh, crap. Jeez, 
GG, boys. GG. It was fun while it lasted. I can't believe we got him down to 14 lives and didn't kill him. If I balloon boosted like maybe a second early, maybe we would have killed him. I don't even know. I don't even know. Regen rainbows, man. It was a terrible idea. Should have done it. Alright, we're gonna do something freaking wild here. Check this out. Check this out. Wait, do I have four cures yet? Trees. Throw some trees down open. Slurp that puppies up. Uh, I don't have fourth tier ninjas at all yet. So what we have to do is we're going to go, oh my god. And. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reinforced BFP's coming out here. This is not good. All right, we're going to counter with our own reinforced BFP. Our own reinforced BFP. Uh, I don't have anything to slow it down right now. I don't have fourth tier ninjas or anything. I don't, have, I don't even have fourth tier ice towers. Oh, he's got mobs coming out too. All right, maybe we can defend Boabs. Maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky here. I don't know. There we go. We got this guy. Flash bombing. DDTs! When did DDTs happen? Oh, crap, dude. I don't even know it was round 26, man. I can't hear anymore. I can't hear anymore. Oh, good game, dude. Good game. There we go. Alright, Ice Ninja Spike Factory. Is that the most OP tower combo of all time? I'm, I gotta say it. I don't think so. I don't think you guys picked the right towers for me. So anyways, this is the ear that's broken. So, uh, this is something I never do. We're going to try. We're going to try to go like this. I've never done this before. All right. But if you guys can't tell, no, I shouldn't do that, should I? Oh, uh, we'll just use my crappy ear. We'll use my crappy ear to listen. All right, guys, pick my towers. Pick my towers. What do you guys want? What do you guys want? Everybody gets to pick one tower. You gotta be quick about it, though. You gotta be quick. Only one tower each. You can't pick a tower combo. I will be going Oban. Cassie Druid. We see a Druid. Alright. I see a Ninja. Holy crap. Druid and Ninja again. I already got Ninja. And I see a Wizard. Oh, you guys are wild. Three Magic Monkeys. Alright. Um, You know what? Maybe it'll work. Three magic monkeys. I pick what you guys throw me, man. I don't even. I, all I can do is look at the chat. Whatever I see, I see it. Please don't say that. On Twitch chat. Please don't say that. You look at bad, my friend. I do look. I do look. All right, we're gonna do a. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, what the heck? Druids don't fit for crap. I already something a while. We're gonna go boom, boom. Druid reach! Check that out. How does that make you guys feel? How does that make you feel? Juicy on the inside? Druid of reach. Purples? Schmurples. I got that druid, boys. I got that druid. All right, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but uh, SJB is not fully, not fully, just a minute amount of not 100%. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Open, bro. Open. Open, schmolpen. All right, we're going to get rid of this crap. We're going to go for an open. We're going to buy his level two. This is going to get him that double, that uh, plus one pierce here. I think it's going to be important for us. Then we're going to go for the Heart of the Vengeance as soon as, soon as we can um, for all of my guys. Purples, Schmurples, man. I can take care of purples. We're good. We're good. Right now, uh, the best strategy in the game, if I had to say, I would go Sniper, Ninja, and probably Darwin Gun. If you ask me, man. That's got to be the no, one of the number one ways to play this game right now. Uh, it's almost a cheater strategy, believe it or not. Ninja's late game, ridiculous. Dartling Gun will defend everything up until round 17. And... Uh, Sniper will make you billions of dollars. So, therefore, that is my best tower combo in the game. In the game. So here we go. We got another uh, Heart of the Vengeance here. I'm going to go for a quad. We got, you guys want quad? Oh, yeah. Let's go for a freaking quad here, boys. Quad it up. Heart of the Vengeance times four. Now, if you guys aren't sure, all right, if you guys are just a little confused about what's going on right now, you're thinking, wow, SJB freaking sucks balls, dude. He sucks balls. He can't even defend white balloons. All right, he's probably the worst BTD Battles player in the entire history of the world. All right, well, I gotta say, you suck for saying that. 
All right, you suck for saying that because you don't understand what's going on right now. We are purposefully losing lives. We wanted to lose those lives. All right, now, normally, I might just be making crap up, pulling poop out of my butt and just throwing it against the wall. All right, not in this situation. In this situation, this actually does make sense. Why? Because Heart of the Vengeance, drum roll, please, allows you to lose lives but gain extra attack speed on your druids. Therefore, therefore, if we use the druid combo right here, we can get almost unlimited speed. Look at that. We lost 70 lives. We got an extra 20% boost here. We got freaking perfect. Freaking perfect, man. We're almost to the max without losing too many lives and feeling too dangerous here. Now, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this one freaking bit, man. Got Engineer making money off of me. I don't like this one bit. Awesome. And I got no ways to make extra money. Oh, I do have ways to make extra money. Check this out. Suck my balls with that Engineer trap. Suck my balls with that engineer trap. We're going to go for something magical. Something mysterious. Something you would have never expected in this world. Druid of the Jungle. Druid of the Jungle. And we're going to go for a jungle's bounty. <laughs> Why not, dude? All right, guys. I've not been paying attention to the donations. I'll get to them after this game. I'm so sorry. I suck at life. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you think that I'm ignoring you. I'm not purposely ignoring you. It's an accidental ignore. Ignore. All right, here we go. Through the jungle, baby. All right, we have zero cam protection right now, though. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, you guys were not expecting me to survive that. Where are you? You had no. Oh crap! Is he all outing me here? Uh oh. Ball lightning! Where are you at, bro? We got a ball lightning up. The ball lightning. The ball lightning should defend all. Every and all balloon in the entire history of the world. Oh, all right. All right, bro. Fine. That's the way you got to do it. Who sells dartling guns? Losers, man. Losers sell dartling guns for all out rushes. That makes no freaking sense. It makes no sense. All right, guys. Pick my towers. Pick them up. Let's go. Come on. Give me something good, though, this time. Give me something good. Give me something juicy to work with. Okay, I see farms. Farm strategy. Boomerang. All right, I see boomerang. Uh, what do we see? What do we see? We got uh, sniper. Okay. All right. I'm probably being too loud. Oh my god, is she gonna yell at me? <sighs> is she yelling at me right now? Okay, okay. She's. We gotta. We gotta chill it out a little bit, boys. We gotta chill it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. She's yelling at me. She said, Chris, you're freaking too loud. It's almost midnight. I'm trying to go to sleep. Stop yelling. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna do a boop, 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 boom rain start. Alright, now we can go full. Let's go for a 2 2 boom boom. Chill it out. Chill it out, guys. Chill it out. Chill it out. Chill it out. Just relax. Just relax. It's all good. Oh my god. Boomerangs suck on this map, don't they? I saw a decent amount of glues, and I specifically ignored the glues. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't want me to make me lose every single trophy, do you? That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fair at all. All right, we're going to pull off something deliciously magical. All right, what we got to do. Okay, well, we gotta do, check this out, check this out. We're gonna go for a second boom boom. Alright, we're gonna go whoop, just like that. Go red hot ranks. Improve rank lives. Alright, alright, alright. We good, we good. Next thing we gotta do go full yellows. Yellows, not blues, not blues. We're good. 
We're good, guys. We're good. You know what? I did. I forgot about donations. All right, we'll get back to it. Sane, S A I, S A one N. Here's one percent of your doctor's office fee. Hey, oh, look at that! We got first blood, baby. Um, cheers to the American healthcare system. Cheers, dude. I know this sucks, right? Um, life can suck at this. We're gonna get rid of this guy. We're gonna say, you know what? We don't want you no more. You're garbage to me. You're garbage. We're gonna go glaive ricochet, and then we can finally get our banana farms going. Here we go. Some banana farms. Here's one delicious banana farm for us. And then I can go for a little bit more balloons. We're gonna go full whites, all up, all day today. Check this out. As soon as we can. Get ready for this. Gartling up players. Their biggest weakness in the entire world. They can't do it, man. They can't handle it. They can't handle the truth. They can't handle. Oh, maybe we can't handle it either, though. Can we handle it? Handle it. Yes. Indeed. Indubitably. No problemo. <laughs> this is a good boomerang, guys. This is freaking good. I like him. I like him a lot. Uh, and we're causing problems over here. He's getting a second dartling gun up. He is chasing. We're going to just boost it, because why the heck not? Cause some more lives of damage. We get a banana farm flowing up in here. And I'm going to go for a sniper. Oh, look at that. We boost. We get a boost out of him. The teal zebra. I have seen this guy multiple times before, by the way. He's stuck in the same arena as me, man. He's actually unlocking different things, maybe. I don't know. Teal Zebra. Alright, second banana farm. Come on, come on, come on. Fit it in there. Fit it in there. Jam it in there. Jam it in there. Oh, yeah. Fit it in there. Slide it in. Slide it in. There we go. Okay, round seven right now. Uh, unlikely for him to kill us. But not an impossibility. I'm still just going whites. I'm going to go for a decent amount of banana farm action and everything. Uh, yeah, the American healthcare system sucks. Uh, even with insurance, things can literally bankrupt you. It's garbage. It makes no sense. I am a, a, uh, a prompt believer in, uh, a Medicare for all type system. Let your taxes go to work, man. Everybody deserves not to die of cancer because they can't afford it. Can't afford healthcare. It makes no freaking sense, man. All right, round eight right now. We got a decent amount of income. We're going to go for our sniper. Let me go for a quick uh, bouncing bullet here. This guy's got to be my all-out cam detection, though, which is kind of sad. Uh, I don't really like it, you know? But it is what it is. Anyways, uh, this guy's going blacks against me, finally. But I don't think that's going to make any thing happen. Mm -hmm. All right, bouncing bullet me. All right, bouncing bullet. We got the bouncing bullet, but pull it up. I'm going to leave him on first here. I'm sending out whites. I don't know. Yeah, send out uh, blues again. Got to be careful because my sniper is my only camp protection, which is not exactly fantastic. If he allows me, I'm dead. You know, it's just the usual. It's just the usual, guys. We're going to try to get a second sniper up in here. He's going to have to be my extra camp protection here. And if I need to, I mean, maybe I can go for more glaives if he decides to all out me. Two banana farms. Could make a play. Maybe. Sane. Hopefully I'm saying your name right, dude. Uh, Here's... I heard it's New Year's Eve in nine days. Is it really? Oh my god. Life happens so fast, dude. Enjoy it while you can, man. Enjoy it while you can. Life goes by too quick. Way too quick. Uh, we're going to stop with income for a little bit. We're going to go greens for a little bit. And we're going to see if we can get a second bouncing bullet up. I'm a little afraid of a lot of rushes, to be really honest. So here we go. Bouncing bullet. I have not gotten up to my supply drops yet, so we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. He's a bouncing bullet at the very least with a uh, full metal jacket. And let's solid solidify this guy off with two large caliber bouncing bullets. Alright, not a guaranteed win, but it's going to be difficult for this guy to actually kill me. And I've got $3,000 built up, so if I absolutely need to, I think I can go for a fourth tier boom boom and uh, defend this crap. Let's also just get rid of these uh, stupid things that are on the way, so I don't have to deal with it anymore. We're getting ready for some rushes on these next rounds. Now, I should also mention that I don't have any Moab popping power at all. So let's make sure, at the very least, we can stall this Moab with a Kali Boomerang Moab press combo. Spike vectors are pretty good these days, guys. They are pretty good. They are pretty good. Uh... Here's the bow up press. All right, we're gonna do this this the, the fancy, the stylish way. Check this out. Check this out. Get that guy going. If I need to, I'll pop down a top path sniper as well. Hopefully, I don't need to. Because I'm gonna go for a significant rush on the end of round 17. I'm gonna go for a 
Triple dose of Moabs. Triple dose. Ready? One, two, three. Four. Four quadrados. Quadrados of Moabs here. We're going to play this out, see how this is going to go down. See if we can defend this with spike factories and everything. We're going to blue boost it as well. He is doing a pretty good job with his uh, darling guns here, but he's going to boost it. Now this is going to open him up. All right, check this out. We forced it at the end of round 17 on purpose here, because now he doesn't have his boost ready for the huge mungo ridiculousness that we can now currently send out, which is reinforced Moebs up the Wazizzle Dizzle. Up the Wazizzle Dizzle, boys. Up the Wazizzle Dizzle. We can even sell this guy and go full out these guys and see if we can take him down. I gotta be quiet, though. Gotta be quiet. Made us sleeping, guys. Made us sleeping. Come on. Can we do it? Can we do it? The Teal Zebra gets taken down. Yes. Yes. We've done it, my friends. We have done it. We have beaten the AI character. The artificial intelligence. Even better than the original tutorial, Gwendolyn. All right, guys, pick my towers. Pick my towers. Tell me what you want to see. Pick them up. And we'll read out some donations really quick. Aurora, glue sniper village with open or switch sniper with boomerang. I'm sorry, I cannot do donation picks. All right, I really wish that I told you that earlier. I cannot do that. I'm so sorry. But Aurora, thank you so much nonetheless. I will do... Uh, I will do open for you, but I've been doing open already. Currently pooping. Poop. It won't <laughs> spell me spell it correctly. Monkey fund. Please help us get Ninja Kiwi to add the poop flinging monkey. Wow. That would be pretty ridiculous, wouldn't it be? All right. Remember, guys, you only get one tower per choice. Uh, and I'm just going to pick out whatever I see. I'm going to pick one from Twitch first. Heli. Oh, my God. Why do you got to be brutal, guys? Why do you got to be brutal? I see engineer. All right. Engineer it is. And I see a... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I already see Heli. Come on, come on. Give me something reasonable here. Give me something reasonable. Sub. I see sub. Okay. There we go, guys. We got sub. We got Heli. We got engineer. Can we make these towers work out into the most mysteriously amazing tower combo of all time? We're gonna try. We're of course gonna try. So... The best tower to start off with, in my opinion, has got to be, sadly, the Engineer. Oversize Nails at, uh, Engineer in here, and we're going to go for a quickity quick pin with a dual gear. Quinn, quickly quick, dual gear. You guys like this good burger one? Yeah, I stream on both. I shouldn't, but I try to make the Twitch peeps happy. How tall am I? How, do, how tall do I look, guys? What do you guys think? I don't know. I really want to wait on the glue, man. I feel like glue right now just is not... It's its broken. its the, That's the problem. Like, I would not mind using it if it wasn't officially broken. But it is. It's broken, dude. <coughs> it doesn't uh, aim right. It's a problem. Here we go. Full blues already. No full income, man. Delicious. We'll pop down our open friend. There he is. And then, I think I'm gonna go for a blue is broken in a bad way. It's actually like messed up. It doesn't work the way it should be. Six foot nine is close. That is not the answer though. And thank you all so, so much for all the donations. You guys are very much, very much appreciated. I wish I could give you guys more thank yous and shout outs and everything in the world. I sadly am just not good enough to do that. Um, as far as I understand, the aiming of the glue gunner is messed up. So if you put him on first, uh, he'll just keep re-gluing the same balloons instead of aiming a new balloon every single time. So uh, it gets pretty screwed up pretty quickly. All right, this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to actually send out full whites. Build a little sub. This guy is 1100. I need 3300. So I need 2200 roughly to make this happen. I'm going to boost this to start this off. Check this out. Check out this play, boys. Check out this play. This is going to be one of the most ridiculous plays you've ever seen in your entire freaking life. You're going to be amazed. 
be absolutely amazed by this. Check this out, check this out. Ready? One, two, three, and boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's got the... Oh, dude, he's going for the super sexy X-Play here. Alright, let's hope he doesn't take this to the to the double X, and maybe even go going crazy. He might even make this a triple X-Play. Alright, he's got the cross patterns here. Just like Ghostbusters, you never cross the streams, guys. You never cross the streams as a Darkly Good player. You're going to have some issues. It's gonna, You're going to have problems, man. You're going to have problems. I'm not sure you're going to like yourself for it. Here we go. Full out yellows. We're going to hurt him. Bloom boost. Switch to whites. He's going to battle energy. There it is. All right. So again, I'm trying to chill this out a little bit. I'm trying to chill this out a little bit. My girlfriend is currently sleeping. My wife is currently sleeping. So we gotta, ch gotta chill this out. I'm not four two. I'm not five nine. I've actually only seen. I don't think I've seen the right answer yet. Believe it or not. There's one that. Well, I think that's how you look at it. That's how you look at it. I don't know. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop with income, and we're gonna say, you know what? Suck my McNuggets, man. Suck them. We're gonna go double gun down here. We're gonna go for a balloon trap. Real fast. Real fast. Check this out. 7-1 is close, but that is not the right answer. Awesome. Come on, Blue Trap, give me that money. She's cool with it, man. We were dating for like eight years. Here we go, round 11. This is where things can get freaking wild, dude. 15 feet, 7 inches. Not too far away. Not too far away. I mean, it depends on your scale. You know, if you're comparing like the sun to the earth, you know, I mean, the scale-wise, not very far apart. You know, if you're only 15 feet off, only 7, 8 feet off, not bad. Not bad, dude. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Check this out, check this out. Watch this, check this out, check this out. Watch this, watch this play. So he's going just yellows. Okay, so he's not planning on rushing. We'll just get to go whites. He's got hydro rocket pods up. He's feeling juicy right now, guys. He's feeling absolutely juicy. Juicy. He's a juicy bofo. All right, we gotta send out uh, uh, Oban. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? All right. I don't know what I'm doing. He stopped with income for a little bit. All right, he's gonna plan a ceramic rush, dude. He's planning it. You can tell. Check this out. Watch this. We're gonna bait him, as usual, guys. I don't know if this is gonna be the best bait of all time. I don't know if this is going to be a suck bait, or a teaser bait, or what, but we're going to try to bait. Nah, you know what, we're just going to get it. Here's a sentry expert. <gasps> sentry expert. Build, build sentries that we need. Build them. Build them! <laughs> Alright, we shouldn't bait with a tower that actually takes time to build things. Noted. And we're also going to go for obstruction, because that's coming up in the next round here. Okay, Hydro Rocket Pods. Oh, we got ninjas. Oh, suck my nuts. Suck my nuts. Oh, I feel like a squirrel today. Suck them. Suck my nuts. All right, some yellows. Some Moab. Some yellows. Some Moab. Some blue boost. Ooh, he's got a spike factor, but that's late. There's three mobs he's got to deal with. He's going to battle under this. This could be a little dangerous. A little dangerous. Hydro Rocket Pods is doing a pretty good job. And it looks like he will indeed defend. Good for you, good sir. Good for you, good sir. Alright, reinforced mobs. One. Reinforced Moab. Two. Reinforced Moab. And get ready for a... Let's go for some just random balloons. You know? Just some random balloons. We're gonna balloon boost it. I don't know. Probably not gonna kill him. I just feel like it's worth it to try. Uh, reinforced balloons are difficult to defend. Oh, freaking hot rock pods, dude! Freaking hot rock pods. All right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. This game. Oh yeah, let's get the helipad going. You guys are freaking right. Get this pop. Oh, get them some quad darts. Put them on pursuit. There you go. Pop them balloons. Pop those balloons. Uh, reinforce PFB, that's what you guys want. That's what you guys want to see. Alright, I'm down. I'm down. Alright, 
Alright, reinforced. Boop. B at B. He accidentally sent out some purples against me. Alright, here's where the heli pallet comes into play, guys. Look at this heli pallet go. Look at him go. <gasps> Blue trap didn't suck up, slurp those balloons up? Why won't you slurp them up, dude? Dude, you're supposed to get slurpy on this guy. Dude, I would love to see a crit copter in this game. Honestly, oh, it's just exciting to even imagine. I'm going full whites right now. He's not going balloon him against me. He's actually feeling a little bit struggleicious against this rush. Um, I set up purples on accident. That was not on purpose. Um, the question is, do we want to go for some god rush or something like that? Honestly? Oh my god. Look at that. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that crap? <sighs> Alright. You guys tell me. Do we zoom a god rush or do we not zoom a god rush? Alright, tell me. Tell me. The first person to answer, you guys get it. You guys are the uh, the deciding factor here. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you guys want? Do we zoom a god rush? I see a yes. Alright, we're going. We're going. Oh my god. <gasps> he got a rushed. Oh! He's got multiple. This is not good. This is not good, guys. Alright, we gotta get rid of this guy. He's done. He's garbage to me. He doesn't exist anymore. Mob destruction. Come on, come on, come on. Do something, guys. Do something. I really need you to pull it together. Pull it together for me. Alright. Uh, maybe I'll try for another heli pallet. Just slow this down. Let's get another bell up shove if we can. Balloon boost. I don't have any balloon boost, do I? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Goose! We take him down. Oh, I deepened my trees. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Can you guys believe that? Oh my god, actually stuck through. He went for too many BFPs against me, and we just destroyed them. Destroyed them. Top path engineer, baby. Not bad. Not bad. Oh my god. Where are all my money chests at? Got all these garbage chests over here. Beat a Dartling Gunner Ninja user with this power combo. <laughs> Without even having third tiers and stuff. Alright, what are we at? Let's check out our XP on these guys. Alright, let's see. Uh, subs, actually pretty good. Got 22k. Don't really need them up higher, though. Heli Pilot. Oh, that's rough. We got third tiers. All unlocked. Okay, okay, okay. Um, None of that stuff's unlocked. Engineer, though. Ooh. What do we got for this puppy? I mean, we got some decent engineer action. We got fourth tiers. Two fourth tiers. Overclocks next. 14k XP, though. All right, you guys want the mighty chest? Do we do it right here? You guys have to tell me. Do we do it? All right, I see... A lot of no's. I see quite a few no's in here. All right, I gotta say it. I think the no's actually outweighed the yeses there. I saw probably about 25 no's, maybe one or two yeses out of everybody. So I guess we'll just go battle. I'm, I was surprised. I thought you guys would want the mighty chest to be unlocked. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, fine. We'll unlock our mighty chest for you guys. Let's see what we got. Ooh, some monkey money. Decent, decent. We got some, ooh, some blue action. Ooh, some super monkey action. I like that. Ooh, some pharma. I like that. Spike, I like that too. Striker Jones, Quincy. All right, all right. Fair enough. And off oh, Striker Jones. All right. And we, ooh, for two hours. 
I'm all out of the uh, tokens, though, guys. All right, pick my towers, guys. Pick them. What do you guys want? What do you guys want? Oh, I did. I missed it. Sampling Raider. You ma you made it to Hall of Masters today, dude. Good job. Hope to see you soon. I don't know if I'm going to make it this season, dude. It's been it's been rough without the uh, stuff. Okay, I see a... Uh, I see a glue. Alright, I'll, I'll pick the freaking glue for you guys. I see Dart Monkey. Interesting. And I see... Embrittlement. I see Ice Tower. <laughs> Oh, God, guys. I don't know if I have unbrittlement. I don't think I have I need some cam detection. All right. I need some cam detection. Come on. Give me something at least. How about a buccaneer? All right. I see a buccaneer a couple times. Or wizard. We could do wizard. I need something for camos. I don't know if the dart monkey is even remotely good enough for me because I don't even have fourth tiers unlocked. I have third tiers. So. Feel nature's wrath. Feel nature's wrath. All right, boys, let's do this. Let's do a Buccaneer start. Nah, screw it. Let's go dart. You guys wanted to see this, man. Let's go dart start. Start this up in a nice, interesting, fun way. Triple darts, sharp shots. Manageable. Super sharp shots. Decent. Not too shabby. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, this pretty much is the fart monkey. Alright, we're gonna switch back into red balloons here. I'm feeling, I'm not feeling good, but I'm not feeling bad either. I think, you know what, let's get our hero going. We're gonna throw him in this, this corner down here. I don't really know where the best place to put him is, but, uh, uh, here we go. We got an open dartling gun combo. We might be able to do something with white balloons here. Let's we'll see if this guy's gonna be too greedy or something silly. Crossbows could be good against whites. I think that's the only use that they would be they would have. But then once he goes greens or yellows, it's like that guy's already worthless. So is it worth? Is it worth? I think I'm better off. All right, check this out. Check this out. There's a little wild. I'm gonna go for a. Oh, I gotta go grape shot. I think I needed a can ship for six. I don't think Blue Gutter's gonna cut it. I don't think Dart Monkey's gonna cut it. I gotta go can ship. So, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try for it. SJB's birthday is in March. It's coming up, guys. Only three-ish three -ish months away. Alright, hot shot. And can chips only $900. Affordable, though not easily affordable. Alright, here we go. Full whites. And he's got a... Oh, my God. Oh, we've got greens, too. Oh, baby. Alright. Mmm. Here we go. We got cannon ship. Whew. All right, I'm not loving this right now, guys. I'm not loving this. This is doable. This is decent enough, but this is not fun. Um, here's faster shooting on this guy. How many lives are we gonna lose? Oh my god, life is so weird when you have a broken ear. I hear weird beeping noises all the freaking time, man. Like, what the heck is going on? Let's try last. Is that working? Five. Not really. Let's put it back to first. All right, let's glue this up. Blue city! All right, we're going to go for a corrosive nice. blue splatter. I don't want to go crazy. I want to put this guy on last. You know, no matter what, he'll hit the last blue. It's close to something that's okay, too. I think I like last a little bit better. Um, This is supposed to be corrosive. Why are, the, why are they surviving so freaking long, man? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ooh, I could go for a bottom path. A merchant man. This could be an interesting play. Merchant man. $2,000 though for this puppy. Yeah, corrosive sucks. I think I should have gone strong glue or something. All right, I have zero cam checks right now, so we definitely have to keep that in mind. The merchant man will be our first tower that has, like... Uh, decent amount of camera protection, and I can go for a combo of whatever the heck I feel like. There's Merchant Man. Alright, alright. Feeling decent about him. Let's at least go Grape Shot on this puppy. 
We'll see if we want to go anything further than that, but for now, you know, I'm okay with him. $300? Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's get another one. Let's get another one of these guys. Let's build him up at the top here. Get some extra cam protection across the board. Heck yeah. Here's another crow's nest. Uh, front 11 right now, though. we got to be a little bit careful. Uh, my cam protection is, is lackluster at best. Lackluster at best. Let's see if he just all outs me, man. Just takes me down. <laughs> he goes for a decent sized rush, I'm dead. There's no freaking way I could survive. That's a rough one, guys. You guys gotta give me some camera detection at the very least, man. I can't rely on a uh, boat for camera detection. Especially when you guys want me to go merchant ships, man. It just doesn't work. Alright, remember, you guys only get one tower each. We're on basalt columns. Toughest map of the game. Tell me what. Oh, monkey ace. I like the idea. Monkey ace. Alchemist monkey ace. You're crazy, man. Oh, he didn't like the map. He didn't like the map. I don't like that map. Karoo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be quite the ridiculous play. All right, we see a mortar. What else do we want? We see a tax shooter. Actually, I actually like this combo so far. And I see an elk. All right. You know what? Not bad. I think that we can make this work. I think we can make this work. I really have to pee, though. Feel nature's rock. I think we can get the P in time. We gotta make this game fast, guys. Might have to just pee right here, right now. Alright, let's do a... Just like that. Boom, boom. I'm going full income. Screw the lives. Lives are garbage these days, guys. Freaking garbage. We don't care about them. Not one little baby bit. Plus, if we stop the reds for one second... Oh, maybe I should have not done that. Not that. One extra reds. Like I said, income is where it's at. Screw the lives. He gets first blood. Who cares? Who cares? Never miss elk combo. I have tried it once, and it was... It's okay. Please remember, guys, if you say you never read the chat, you do get insta-banned. So I'd appreciate it if you guys did not do that. Um, I definitely do read the chat as much as I humanly can. Uh, I like to think that my live streams are an interactive live stream. You know, like I really do hardcore try to interact with you guys as much as possible. I'm not only building the towers that you guys want me to build, I'm doing everything that I can to play the game while reading the chat and talking to you guys all at the same time. So the number one thing that does get on my nerves is when people say that I don't read the chat. It really is, it really is annoying. So uh, I do ban people automatically. It's not a timeout, it's a ban. You're gone. Like, you can never come back. I just want people to realize this. Never. So if you care about, and, and just so you know, that also uh, continues on for my comments on my videos and things like that. You're just, a pr you're just banned from the channel. It's basically the way it works. And the coolest part about it, a lot of people don't know this. They're just thinking, oh, I'm not banned. I'll just keep talking. And that's what happens. They, they are secretly banned. It's actually a hidden ban. <clears throat> so what's cool about this hidden ban, that's pretty fun, is that they don't even know that they're banned. So they'll continue to talk and chat and comment and things. And it just doesn't show up for anybody else. So uh, it, it's it's honestly, it's like, it's hilarious. It's quite hilarious. I love it. I really do. Um, here we go. We got White Bloom's coming out. Mm, he's got Sniper Boomer, man. He's going meta, Strat. He's going meta. All right, we got to get this full, uh, full income going. Let's go full greens into full yellows and all that good stuff. Oops, I sent out spaced yellows. Nice. Some people don't care. 
You know, some people just come here and they're like, oh, this, who's this guy? I don't care about him. I don't care. I'm just going to go watch other YouTube videos forever. Um, and you know what? That is a valid way to live life. You don't have to like Super John Mambo. And you don't have to come to his live streams. You don't have to come on to his live streams. But uh, uh, lots of people get banned. Lots of people get banned. So here we go. Full yellows, guys. We're going to blue boost this. Here we go. He's probably going to have to boost it back. He is going to boost it back. He should. Ooh. That was scary for him, man. That was freaking scary for him. Awesome. But he did survive. All right. It's time. Let's go for a quick mortar. So I've got 800 income at this point. That's honestly pretty freaking sexy. He's a little sad about it, of course. But he does have ninjas and boomers. Or, excuse me, boomers and snipers. He probably got freaking ninjas, too. So, uh... You know, if he's planning on going late game at all, he might have the, uh... Oh, my God, I'm sending out grouped whites. What an idiot. What an idiot I am. What an idiot. of the forest awaken. Frank, you greedy mofo. You don't sell your boomerang to get a faster fourth tier sniper. Any battles player is going to take advantage of that crap and slam you down into the ground, dude. What were you thinking, Frankie? Frankie! You don't sell those... You don't sell to get a sniper. Oh, I have to pee. You're right. Let me go pee real quick before we pee our pants. Crisis averted. Chat is not... Oh, man. Another one. Come on, dude. Like, you think I'm not there for a second? You think I'm not gonna notice? Bad time and dude, banned. Oh, guess who's here? Alright, we have to say hello really quickly. Look who decided to interrupt. Come on in. Come say hello. Come say hello. Here, let's make sure that you're on the camera. Alright, come say hello. Come on up. Oh, hello. There's the bobbers. Hello. There's the Luna. How you doing, man? How you doing? That was my good girl. That was my good fluffers. My good little Luna. I'll have to close my door after that. Oh, little bobbers. You had to sneak in the room. Okay. Okay, babies. My good poopers. Thank you for coming in. She was a little sad. She got left outside, guys. She was a little sad. Are you doing okay? Are you doing okay? Alright, let's help you down. Alright, let me go close the door now. Okay, go ahead, you can lay down. You know, one thing about uh, uh, YouTubers in general, 
not everybody. Okay, not not everybody. Um, it, it's a it's a bit of a minority. But I've noticed that some YouTubers are a bit narcissistic. They uh, think that they are so full of themselves that they, they can't do no wrong. Um, there's so many people that like them. Obviously, they must be just such a, a grand gift from God or something like that. I'll tell you guys right now, I'm definitely not a grand gift from God or anything like that. I like to think that I'm not all that narcissistic. All right, I see druids. Let's play druids. I see... What else do we want? I see subs. Let's try a sub. Subs suck on this map, though, man. Why you gotta do that to me? And I see... Come on. What else? 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 Bloom chipper? There's no bloom chipper, dude! I see... Sniper. Wow. Okay. Snipers it is. I don't know how I feel about this combo. I think we could probably make it work. You know, I guess people could take advantage of that. I can only ban on YouTube or Twitch. I cannot do a double ban. So if somebody um, wants to, I guess they could move on over to the other area. You know, that is a way around the system. It's a possibility. Though, again, on uh, YouTube at the very least, it is a shadow ban, so you wouldn't even know that you're banned. Twitch, I think Twitch tells you guys when you get banned. You get to see when other people get banned, because uh, I do every once in a while pop in there, and people are usually laugh at the person who gets banned, so tis what it is. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but obviously I am the most humble man of all time. The humbleness just absolutely exudes out of me, guys. The ridiculousness of the amount of exude exudiary options here is just ridiculous. I don't think that there is a person that could be more humble than me. I don't think Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Tom Hanks. Nobody else could be as humble as SJB. Obviously. There's nobody that could be. It's not even possible. It's not possible, guys. Why would you even, like, question? Qu question the humbleness of SJB? Obviously. No. Can't do that. Alrighty, boys. Uh, we gotta get our open going. Ooh, open's not in the range of all the druids. Is he? I don't think he is. This kind of sucks. All right, let's do. Uh, let's get these guys up for sure. Oops. <laughs> when you look up humble in the dictionary, you just get a giant picture of me and my face. All right. It's just the way it is. It's just what you're gonna see. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are great. I do indeed have two different chat screens up here. And I'm obviously the best battles two player of all time as well. Um, I only allow my opponents to win every once in a while, so people don't realize how amazing I actually am. You know, every once in a while, I'll, I'll let people feel good about themselves. But I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes you just you have to let people feel good. You have to let others feel the power that just again exudes off of. All right, here we go. We're gonna go full whites. I meant to send out whites that entire time. I just kept doing things. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the issue right now. Is right now it's like, do I want to go to the Hall of Masters? Do I want to win 26 games in a row? It just it feels a little rude to all of the other players out there. You know, it it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to just completely obliterate every opponent ever. So I'll give them a chance. I'll make them feel good. I'll lose some lives on purpose for them. And then, uh, you know, when they least expect it, I'll come out of nowhere. I'll come out of the woodwork, and I'll get my uh, Heart of the Thunder and just start healing everything. Except when Heart of the Thunder is not in existence. That sucks when that happens. When it just stops working here and there. Oh, 
my uh, Heart of the Thunder was broken. It's happened before. It wasn't shooting. And that's really, really annoying when that happens, guys. Um, the good news is, is I can go crap tons of income. We're even going to boost this. I'm going to go for a quick Druid of the Storm here. Um, my camp section is going to be quite simple today. I'm just going to go for a low tier sub blue not, not even going to go nuclear, I don't think. I don't think. I'll try last. Last might not be bad for this druid. Though we might start aiming this way instead. I don't like that. Let's leave him on first. Alright, we have 891 income. That's a pretty good number right there. That's a pretty good number. We are noticing another Ninja Boomer player. Oh, these are meta players. Uh, we're going to go for a quick sub. I'll put him... Yeah, I'll put him in this corner. Why not? And I'll get him up to uh, some merchant support. Now, I am not unbeatable by any means. I'm going to go for one Druid of the Wrath. And I'm going to get this guy up to a de-regenifier. We're going to put him on last for sure. He's going to de-regenify all the balloons, hopefully. And keep me in the game. I'm going to actually feel pretty confident about my defense. You know? Um, this is not a guaranteed defense. But uh, I feel pretty good. I feel like he's going he's gonna to have some hard time rushing me, man. He just spent all the money on that sniper. Ooh, he's got a village. Did we rush this guy? I don't know. Force a boost. With our two thousand dollar rush or so. Not bad, not bad. Uh I am one with the sea. Well, obviously, we let that guy win. We didn't want that to go on our record and, you know, do that kind of thing. So we will let we, you know sometimes you just gotta let people win here and there. It's okay. Seventy three trophies, seventy three trophies. You know, it's the usual. Yeah, I probably should have got the nuclear reactor, guys. I was too greedy. I was a greedy butt munch, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a greedy butt munch. Okay, pick my towers, pick my towers. What do we want? What do we want? Ace. We see Monkey Ace. Okay, I love it. I love it. Let's go Monkey Ace. Boom, boom. What else we got? Super Monkey. Okay, let's do it. And I see the Ninja. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's try it out. These are some late game towers, though. Monkey Ace is kind of in between. I don't know what I feel about him. Um, my main problem here is going to be the start. How do you start with these tower combos? Tornado should affect purples, but the problem was I believe that they were camos, and the tornado just missed when they came around. So I really think I lost by like one life there, which is so unbelievably upsetting. Alright, let's see if this is going to be good. <sighs> not bad, not bad. I'll deal. I will deal with it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build one little ninja for cleanup. Right about here. We'll let this monkey ace fly for a long time. And I'm going to plan on getting a middle path monkey ace going. So I'm going to go for, at the very least, exploding pineapple, believe it or not. I think this is going to be a weird one. I'm going to go for rapid fire first. All right, and we're going to go for the middle path afterwards. This is my basic plan. I want to go for a middle path uh, bomber race, basically. That's my goal. So, believe it or not, this map is, like, unbelievably perfect for Monkey Ace. I'm really glad somebody said Monkey Ace here. Um, it can actually be used, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only major, major issue right now is that I kind of have to rely on my Monkey Ace for most of my cam detection. The Ninja kind of can be useful, but, like, not really. But not really. But kind of. Uh, if I do bombs, I need a Striker Jones. I don't think I can go bombs left or just seems too, too not fun. All right, here we go. We gotta go spy plane. Get ready for our bomber race. We're gonna hope that this bomber race is gonna clean up almost everything. Honestly, he's gonna be like the guy, even against white balloons. I'm hoping for it. 
This is the only map in the game that I think is unfair for a Monkey Ace user. Alright, here we go. Bomb race. Don't boo. I'm gonna go full whites after this, because I feel like this might maybe kind of babyly sort of a little bit just causing problems. So, here we go. Bombs, 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 bombs. That feels good. I like seeing all them bombs. Let's get rid of this thing just so we don't have to cause any problems long term. I am gonna get my hero going pretty soon as well, so I can get extra XP. Now, he's going green balloons against me, which is kind of odd. I want a balloon boost. And we're gonna get our hero going. Alright, we're gonna put him next to our ninja just in case late game. We got that round 11 open combo. Here we go! Look at that, look at that. Damage, 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 yes. Look at the first blood off this puppy. Delicious. He is losing a decent amount of lives here. He's just going max income, though. Which is a fair strategy. That's not a bad idea. Just maximizing income. Going a thousand plus on round, uh, an early round like this. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy up to a decent level, put him on strong. And we'll switch into our yellow rush. I actually believe that the yellows might cause some issues, even though he's got a mortar attack combo. Might, maybe, cause some issues. Or blue boost again. Cause some issues, baby. Cause some freaking issues. I love it. He's not boosted and he is defending. Our huge Mungo yellow rush. Alright. Fair enough. Switch back to whites. So he's got some purples coming against me now. I don't really understand the point of purples. Uh, I guess, are they kind of efficient here? Are purples more efficient than whites? Two for 60, four for, oh yeah! They're freaking really efficient. Let's go purples, dude. You know, I never knew why some people were sending out purples. Now it sort of actually makes a little bit of sense. All right, so we got the purples coming out. We're gonna set up some regen zebras underneath here. If we do force a boost, we might be thinking of an all out purple rush. Just wanna be straight, you guys. We might. It's tough to imagine, but uh, it's not an impossibility. Let's send out just regular zebras now. Oh yeah, he's got defense, guys. He's got a freaking defense. Look at that. Delicious. Let's send up some uh, random balloons in here. And it looks like he's got a cover for sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we got a decent defense here. I'm gonna go for another one of these guys. I'm gonna go for never miss targeting with you think I need the camera detection, as sad as that is. Alright, we're at a bit of a pickle. He's got a triple mortar play. Honestly, I love it, dude. I freaking love this triple mortar play. This is awesome. I love this guy. Hmm. If you have trouble with eco, the main thing that I can suggest is you have to get a tower that can defend better in the early game. And once you get that tower going, you can basically just say, hey, I'm going to go full income, and the best income is group balloons. So set up full group balloons, basically. I've only got a thousand, though, which is not that good yet. Um, full camos probably will kill me. Uh, I could get a super monkey now. You know what? Screw it, dude. Let's go super monkey. I don't love it. Honestly, I don't love it, but... Uh, this guy could actually be useful against ceramics. A little bit. Hmm, round 16. He stops sending out. Oh, here we go. We got a rush coming out against us. I got bomb race, though, dude. I don't think that's going to kill me. I boosted just in case. And what I'm going to do is. Something a little funky here. I, did, I shouldn't have boosted. Uh, let's be honest. No, I'm not going to do something funky. I'm going to go knockback. I'm going to go Ultra Vision. If I get the super up, if he decides to go for a secondary all-out rush, this should be able to defeat it. Should be able to. Plus, throw some torts on it. All right, round 17. Here we go. Here's our first Moab. We're going to go for a double dose. I'm going to send out some... Uh, and I want to do like some fortified leads or something, but that's just not, it's, it's not going to do anything. Ooh, he's got an overdrive. Oh, he's going to take down both these Moabs. No problem. And those ceramics just get deleted. Nicely played, good sir. Nicely played. Uh, as far as our defense is concerned, mm, not bad. You know? Dude, boosted bomb race is pretty freaking sexy. Let's get the Lowe's Darts on this guy, just because. If you get him in the right spot, though, you got to get him in the right spot. Otherwise, he's... He's not going to say he's garbage, but... Doesn't really work. Alright, we're going to save up. We're probably going to go for a Dark Knight soon. 
He's got super, so super tech border. I absolutely do not think that I am big enough for a subreddit. <laughs> absolutely not. So no, I mean, it's cool that you made me subreddit and all, but I don't think it'll take off at all. I think if we get five users, it'll be a miracle. Battles 2 only has like 10,000 people in it or something like that. Ooh, here we go. All right, so we're going to go Dark Knight. That should be enough to take this down already. I don't think I need to go Laser Blast or anything. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check that out. Beautiful. Deliciousness. Dark Knight's good, guys. All right, full pinks now. We're already ready for it. I'm even going to glitch the game into sending out full pinks. No hands. As far as rushes are concerned... I think reinforced BFP is a possibility. At least force the Dark Knight. Um, maybe we'll get it right before a uh, possible Oh my God rush. But really, I don't think we'll, this is gonna be a kill rush. You know, at the very least, I want to stop his income. That's kind of my goal right now. Stop the income. Keep myself going full income. See if we can kind of play this long term. Um, if he does decide to go for some sort of crazy rush against me, this could be a little ridiculous. All right, how's he doing, man? He's going to Maelstrom that a little early there. He's got to micro this. I'm going to blue boost. I'm going to blue boost. Blue boost. Why is my blue boost not working? I don't know. My blue boost didn't work, so... Uh, he's got another Maelstrom. He's going to boost it. You know what? I'm happy with that. That's good enough for me, dude. All right, so if he just boosted that... I mean, that means that his Oh My God is going to cause just as many issues, right? So we got to go for his Oh My God right after that. For at least another boost, or something else, even worse. I'm crazy here. I'm going to continue to finally try to go up uh, uh, monies, though. Nah, you know what? Let's take a quick break. If he decides to counter... Nah, let's go income. Screw it, dude. Screw it. He's going to go freaking... He's going to go full defense. He, well, he's a defender. You could tell. Niza, you could tell from the name. N... For noob. I for <gasps> he's rushing. He's sending out non reinforced balloons though, which is kind of weird. He's all outing me here. Here's our counter purple rush. And I think we might even defend on top of killing this guy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. There it is. Completely random towers. Well, I should say completely random. You guys picked my towers. And we still got it covered, baby. We still got it covered. He all outed me there. He couldn't defend us. Oh, my God. That was a little struggle -icious. That was a little bit struggle -icious. Good, 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 good game, dude. Good game. All right, pick my towers, guys. What do you want this time? I'm definitely not fighting on dogs. This guy wants dogs. I'm going to say no. Dartling Gunner. All right. Dartling Gunner. Wizard. Gotcha. Engineer. Okay. Some fun towers. Good tower combos. Though, honestly, I gotta say, Dartling Gunners, guys, definitely pretty decent. Feel nature's rock. Hmm. Dartling Gun start. Just the usual. You're gonna see it all day, every day. Most players are Dartling Gun players. They're weirdos. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dartling Gun counter play. So I guess the question is, how do we want to play this one? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking. I got one Dartling Gun up to powerful darts. I get a wall fire wizard up in the front. And I do something a little bit weird, like getting my Bloom Trap up front. Round like seven. 
and I say screw the Hydra Rocket Pods, and believe it or not, I rely on the Wizard as my uh, as my popping power, and I probably go for something a little bit different, a little bit unusual here. Let's get open down. Oh, we don't get him in time. I hate when I do that. I try to pop open down, and I get him down <sighs> just the wrong time. Hydra Rocket Pod with with Shock is by far one of the best towers in the game. Let's be honest here. But my goal is not to play with the best towers in the game right now. My goal is to have some fun, do some the cool. Where do you go for a wizard over... Oh my god, do you really not fit him here? Okay, let's put him over here. Yeah, we're going to put him right here. It's kind of a weird spot. I think it'll work out for us, though. And here's the wall fire. Beautiful. The reason why I put decided to go up here is purple balloons might be an issue later on. If, you, if I build a wall fire right at the very beginning, purple balloons will be a major freaking issue. At the very least, I build a dartling gun or two dartling guns or an engineer or something like that to deal with some of the purples. This guy will at least not have to, to have his fire to completely obliterate it, you know? So I'm hoping that that is the plan that we can manage that. We're gonna go for whites for a little bit. I'm gonna stop at about 550 income and just go full engineer play. Here we go. We've got white balloons coming out already, so at this point, I can buy crap. Lives might be lost here. There's no guarantee on that that note. It's all about in between that wizard play. Yeah, look at that. In between that fire. First lives lost already. Um, here is the double gun. I said I wanted to stop at 550, so let's stop at 550, guys. Uh, we're not causing any major issues for this guy, though. Double dartling gun, guys. Double dartling. It's good. 550, let's give it a break, and let's go for our Bloom Trap. Nice. Uh, Oba doesn't buff any other Magic Monkeys until, like, level 11, so, like, unless you're building Druids, he's basically worthless. Alright, here's our Bloom Trap with $6 left. Beautiful. Now, every single dollar he sends out against me for the rest of the game is going to equal money in my pocket. This is an interesting combo, but I like it. You know, I'm happy with it. We're going to go for some yellows here. I don't think this is going to cause any problems, but if we can, I might go for it. You know what? Let's go pinks. If he didn't have Hydra Rockabod money, this could be problems. Even boost it, dude. Screw it. Boost that crap. And we Oh, he's gonna sell for the Hydrocopods. He is gonna defend because he has Hydrocopods. But that was at the very least a little bit problematic. Alright. Um back to yellows. And we gotta be careful here for cam detection. I don't currently have anything good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a wizard right home. There we go. Boom boom. Boom. There's my shimmer wizard. I'm gonna decamelize the balloons. Um and then what I can do is I can go for another engineer back here. Let's put up let's get rid of this, and we're gonna put the engineer in the middle. I'm gonna try to go a little bit more balloon action. He's still setting up balloons blues against me and crap, so he's trying to get some income out of this. Uh, I'm not expecting an all-out, but there is a small chance of an all-out. A small chance. I right, think our greens now. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. It'd have to be a pretty sizable rush. Okay, I'm gonna get a thousand income, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna buy the oh, I'm gonna buy the century expert. I'm afraid of ceramics for round 16. A lot of crazy rushes are possible in round 16, guys. A lot of crazy rushes. Ceramics, regen, rainbows, purple balloons. You never know what you're gonna get. So I think a century expert can keep us the game here. We'll just buy them up these construction so I don't forget about it for later. And I'm gonna go full income after that.
Hey, he's banned, guys. So, you know. Alright, round 17 right now. Um, he's probably good. I'm gonna just go full income. Oops. My defense is quite garbage right now, though. Quite garbage, quite admittedly. I'm gonna go Necromancer. This is kind of in, like, the very, very front of the map, so I don't know if that's gonna be good. But... Actually, this is kind of hurting my blue trap a little bit. I don't know that I like this. I should have put it with a backpack here, shouldn't I have? Alright. Well, I don't exactly have late cave towers. My income is garbage for super delay game. Oh, I just have going income so I had to ban somebody. Sadly, you know, it is what it is. His name was quite long. So you're going to see this first mode coming out just gets freaking obliterated by our defense. Absolutely nothing going on here. I'm kind of waiting for a rush. Like, if he does rush us, I don't know exactly what I want to get, but I think I have an idea. Alright, I'm going to build a weirdo dartling gun right here. I should, you're right, I should not talk about banning people. But people asked a question, and I answered said question. Alrighty, so I don't have the 5th tiers for a lot of my towers, but I do have the 5th tier randomly. Uh, I, I have Bez unlocked, and a Bez can kind of defend a bad right now. Reinforced bads are a little bit more tricky, but kind of defending a bad is pretty good in its own right. So I might go for a Bez med combo if I can afford it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it as the main issue. You guys haven't seen my tower from or my video from today about Bez? Check it out, dude. It's it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't want to say it's good. It's tough to say a tower is good because bad. Any fifth tier tower that costs 50 grand plus has to be like amazing against bats. And if you're just good against bats, right now it's I'm leaning towards like a yeah, no thanks. If you guys haven't seen an Accenture Expert, what's really cool about Accenture... Oh, we got some glitches going on. Alright, we definitely have a Necromancer glitch going on right now. Anyways, Accenture Expert has a couple different sentries that it sends out. There are uh, Ice Sentries. There are Laser Sentries. Oh, we got a rush coming out, boys. Alright, let's do this. And... I'm going to build another Engineer. I'm going to hope that this is enough. We're going to put this guy on target independent. And I'm going to hope that this is enough. I don't know for sure. But I'm going to try it. Do I have a fourth here of this? I don't. Let's go for this guy anyways. And I'm hoping that trees will actually do something for me here if they come around by the time they come around here. Alright. Looks like we need a little bit more defense. I'm going to go for a rocket storm hide rocket pods here. And uh, see if I can get a rocket storm actually defending things here. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But I'm going for it. He's got some random zebras coming out against me here. I mean, that's just like basically handing me money. And a rocket storm. I might go for a double dose here. Let's go for a double dose. All right, we got a battle under this. Rocket storm, trees. With everything combined together, we do. We defend the reinforce. Oh, my God. It was a tough battle, but we did do it, boys. We did do it. All right. I'm going to try something a little crazy. We're going to go for a reinforce. Do you think? Licking my lizard, baby. Lick it good. Lick it real good. Who actually rushes with DDTs, baby? Only SJB. 
only SJP. The DDTs that are delicious. The delicious, dark, titillacious balloons of the world. And there we go. We did it again, guys. Brute force. Brute force right through them DDTs. Ah, oh, nobody ever said SJP was normal, man. That's whoever said that. Whoever said that. All right, I got like one or two more games in me before I gotta go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pick my own towers from now on, though. We did an hour and twenty minutes of you guys picking my towers. Believe it or not. So let's pick something fun. I'm uh, just gonna make sure that they actually make sense with each other is the main thing, you know. So, uh, I could try Spike Factory. You know, I think a lot of people saying Spike Factory is a fun tower. I like him. Um, I'm on the wrong side for Monkey Aces to be good. We could try Druids. I'm down. And let's go Tag Shooter. Nah, I don't have any cam protection then. I need to go Mortar or Sub. Mortar or Sub or Wizard. Mortar. Or sub, wizard. mortar. Let's go Mortar. I don't love Mortars. On this map, but they're they're kind of fun though. They're kind of fun. Rock. Major issue is I only have one. Sp I only have two spike factories that I can even like remotely use. I have Bob Shredder spikes, not Spike Storm though, and I have uh, a three two. So that's okay, by the way, but not good. So let's see if we can fit at least two druids inside here. One and. Come on! Why do druids have to be so fat? There we go. Alright. I hate how fat these druids are, though, man. You shouldn't be that fat, dude. Get skinny! Here's our last druid of the day. I'm only going to go with triple dose. And with this last druid, we are going to go for a long range. Alright. Um, I want to be able to reach if, if, if bad things happen. So this is definitely a weird tower combination, but it's definitely... Oh, they are fat, man. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's freaking chunky, dude. He's a chunky monkey. Alright. Oh, crap. Alright, so what we gotta do is, sadly, we gotta get rid of this guy. We're gonna have to buy our Oban, and sadly, I think, because I was stupid, I have to buy the level 1 Druid upgrade. I don't like it, but it is the way it is. I wasted some money, you know. It is what it is. So this guy's got a... Darling good strategy. Ugh. I bet you it's gonna be a Hydro Pod Startling Gun. I bet you any money, and I bet you the Hydro Pod Startling Gun is gonna have laser shock on it. How much you guys wanna bet? Dude. Why aren't you guys subscribers? Get subscribed! Just press that button, buddy! Press that button! Right now! You won't regret it. And if you guys want to be nice, you guys can press the like button. Yeah, it is pretty late here. It's 12.51, so it's not quite as late as in Florida, but it's 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 getting there, man. Alright, here's where it gets a little wild. Again, don't forget, round 6 is a crazy round. Um, you are going to purposely lose lives here. Um... I'm going to go for the Hearthorns just to kind of initiate this up. I want to lose about... About 70 to 80 lives is like the ideal amount. I could go down to 100 or 120 and not feel too bad about it. But that's not my goal. And I do have a good chase going for me, though. This is like straight line chasing, which is really, really nice. I really hope that this Heart of the Thunder isn't glitched, though. That's my major problem, is when it gets really glitched like that, it gets upsetting. Okay, we're down to 82. Thunder is not glitched this game, which is good news for us. We're actually getting that Thunder action out. And we're losing a very minute amount of lives. Actually, not bad at all. I'm kind of okay with it. I want to lose just a few lives in here. I'm going to get ready for our big yellow rush here on round 7. This could actually cause some damage. And we finally caught up. The whites cannot cause any more damage. We're down to 80 lives. That's literally perfect. Literally perfect. I think 70 lives... No, no. I think 70 lives would be 100% perfect. But that's pretty freaking good, man. All right. Pretty freaking good. Uh, yellow balloons? Surprisingly? Starting to sneak through. Are we gonna have to battle under this crap? Open, throw down some freaking thorns, man. Oh, it's a dangerous one. 
but it looks like we will magically survive. Druids, only one druid of uh, Heart of Thunder is defending everything. Kind of ridiculous. I'm having some weird issues where the Heart of the Thunder uh, druid won't attack when he's supposed to. Um, I don't know if he's like attacking the front balloon, but then it disappears at the wrong time, and then he decides I'm not going to attack anymore, or what the thing is. But he should attack pretty consistently, and sometimes he just doesn't. Alright, this is where it gets a little bit funky. So we're going to go for Druid of the Wrath. I'm going to put this guy on last. I'm going to get a Thorn Swarm and a Heart of the Oak, and then i got to make sure i got Cam Protection. So, round 11 is going to happen pretty quickly, so we're going to make sure we get our Mortar up. And we're hoping for the money here. Boom, boom! There it is. Now, I don't have full Cam Protection yet. I need to get a full Rapid Reload and Fast Reload to get, like, full Cam Protection. But this is probably good enough. And there it is. Alright, so he's got Hot Rocket Pods. Not really anything I can rush this guy with. I bet you they're laser shocked, too. Uh, yep, they're laser shocked, as usual. So, um, that means what we have to do, we have to get a little bit of defense on our side. We're going to just go a little bit of income while we get ready for um, some crap. So, let's go through the storm. And I might go for a second through the storm combo, but realistically, at this point, it's not necessary because this guy's going full yellows. So, we know he doesn't have a crap ton of money left over to kind of do some crazy rushes with, you know? Again, I, I say this quite a bit, but you always got to play the player. You don't play the game. If you're just looking at your side of the map and you're saying, oh, I'll build druids because I think, well, I can see the ceramics can come out. All right, no, well, that's wrong. You want to play the player. And this player is telling me he's got no freaking money left over for rushes. If he does rush me, it's going to be small. You know, a couple thousand dollars here, a couple thousand dollars there. Nothing ridiculous. And I think with the battle energy, I can defend almost everything. I've got three of them. Don't think you need to save them until round 26 plus. You got them, use them to your advantage, man. Right. So, Regen Rainbow Rush, uh, it can work against Hydro Rocket Pods player. It can. But it's risky. And honestly, I, I try to take the risk out of the game when possible. So, I'm going to wait until Moabs. I think Moabs have a much a larger chance of not bankrupting you and also still causing problems. So that's my plan. I'm going to go for a triple mob rush. I also don't have anything for mobs right now on my side, so I think Pop Plus is probably going to be the ideal guy to go for for me. Let's see what he does. I'm going to blue boost it a little bit early here. He's probably going to defend it pretty easily, but we'll go for it anyway. It's just a minute. Oh, look at those spikes, dude. They're freaking good. I got Spike Factory. Let's use it. Um, all right, let's go Pop Plus first, and then we got Spike Factory. Let's throw him... Let's throw him uh, right here. All right, he's still going. He's going max whites against me. So he's he's playing like he's playing like game, man. He thinks this spike vector is gonna defend everything. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a little risky to go for any sort of crazy rushes right now. Reinforced. Oh, he's got ninjas too. Oh, the meta adapts so quickly, guys. When these OP towers exist, it's kind of upsetting. Um, makes me want to do a quick Zoma God Rush on round 22 and see what he can do. That's what I'm thinking. A Zoma God Rush. Some people don't expect Zoma Gods. I'm going to go full pinks, though. Rest of the game. Until I'm ready for a Zoma God. Until I need to get the money for a Zoma God. We're going to do a Zoma God. Maybe a reinforced Zoma God. I'll see how I feel. Well, I mean, a Zoma God will kill him right now. It's only round 19. We got three more rounds to go before he's going to do that. He's only going to have more money. He's only going to have more income. He's only going to have more towers. So we'll have to play it by ear. I do have a pretty good amount of camo blue popping power with uh, my border here, so I'm not too afraid. Here's our first mob we got to deal with. Let's see how these guys are going to deal. Not bad. We popped it before it went around the first... Uh, First lane there. And now he's got one, two, three, and four. Going for four spike factories up to third tier right now. So that's oh my god, is only going to get more and more painful to have to actually do anything against. I'm going to save up my money though. Let's see, is he still going income? He stopped going income. So he's got. Oh man, he's going for a fifth. He might be listening to me, by the way. Um, some people, they're um, stream sniping, so to say. And that means that uh, they know what I'm thinking. 
they know what what my plan is and they can adapt because of my plan. It's a little upsetting, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go for, instead of a reinforce, oh my god, I'm going to hopefully overwhelm this guy with balloons. And I think the reinforced aspect is not the problem for him. I think the balloons aspect is the problem. So instead of going for a reinforced, I'm going to go for a double doses on my gods. Alright, now I'm not saying this is going to kill him. But I am leaning towards this causing some possible issues for him. Alright, this could kill him. Could is the major thing. Uh, I can't rush with any balloons underneath here. Creator rainbows, ceramics, fortified, it's not worth it. You know, not worth it at all. Um, we have to definitely keep in mind that DDTs are not going to be something that I'm going to be able to kill this guy with. I've never seen this strategy before, though. This is really weird. He's going full pinks against me. He is confident. He thinks that this is the easiest defense of all time. I I don't know. Maybe it is. The first, oh my god, is starting to sneak through, guys. We're about three-fourths of the way through. And the second, oh my god, has got to freaking sneak through that, guys. It's got to. The battle energy is currently active. Look at that. The first, oh my god, is going to sneak through. This is why you go for a double dose. He's not going to survive. I am. There we go. All the spike vectors are selling. All of them are selling. He knew he couldn't do it. All right. Uh, oh, he's going to counter rush me. I got Tornado Druid, though. And I got trees. Oh, the trees just got slurped right up. Ball lightning. Double ball lightning. <laughs> double ball lightning for the win. He just GG'd me there. Woo, 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 woo. That's why he sent out two. Oh, my God, guys. Not just one. The 3 2 ball spike factories are good, but they are not all powerful, my friends. They are not all powerful. And there you go. So, uh, I think that's going to be my last game of the day, guys. Um, unless here, this is what I'm going to do for you guys. Alright, if uh, we have for at least 1,500 viewers here, we have 443 likes. All I'm asking is that two-thirds of you guys press the like button here. Get 1,000 likes, I'll play one more game. If we don't, that's okay. I'm not begging. I'm just saying I'll hook you guys up if you hook me up. All right. Um, so in the meantime, though, I'm going to wait like two or three minutes. I'm just going to talk to you guys really quickly. Uh, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Super John Bombo. I'm Chris. I've been playing Bloons for well over 10 years. So I'm not a prof I don't like to consider myself a professional player. Um, I like to consider myself a fun player. I like to play really weird strategies, really fun ways and things like that. Different tower combos and all that. I let you guys pick my tower combos for the first hour of this uh, uh, stream. And honestly, I had a good time with it. I did. had a really good time with it. So uh, I've been playing Battles 1 since literally the... I don't even know. I don't know if I want to call it the beta. The beta of Battles when it was on Flash. And then Battles Flash turned into Battles Mobile. Battles Mobile turned into Battles Steam. Steam is where it all came out. Battle Steam was like freaking amazing. Uh, loved it, right? And then, after that, BC6 came out. And that's kind of where my channel went to. Uh, 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 it did really good for a while, and then it kind of just crashed. Um, I had a trouble finding out what kind of content people liked on BC6. I had trouble making content every single day. And uh, I realize now that uh, my life is so much better with Battles 2 in it. Um, this is a game that I could play super duper consistently. Um, it's always a different game, as long as people are using different towers, different loadouts, and different maps, and all that stuff. There's so much replayability. Eventually, they're going to come out with new heroes, they're going to come out with new game modes, they're going to come out with new stuff, and I'm really pumped for all of that. So, we're only at 762 likes. We're down to 1,200 viewers, though. Most of you guys left. You're just like, Chris, you're done. See you later. So, uh... Uh, looks like we're not going to make it to 1,000 likes, guys, so I'm sorry. I appreciate the likes, guys, but if we don't break it to 1,000, I can't. I can't break it down. Um, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. There was 1,500 of you. I don't know. It, it didn't feel that hard for me. It, it just didn't feel that bad, you know? When there's 1,500 people here literally live, all it takes is a button press. But it's okay. Irregardless, um, uh, if you guys want to, you guys can press the like button for me. If you guys want to, you guys can subscribe. Uh, I do make a lot of content out there. Uh, Battles 2 is going to be the thing that I'm going to be focusing on for the next several years. Literally years. I love Battles 2, and I think it's a definite, definite good, good game. All right. Um. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, 
You really think people don't have an account and they just watch on YouTube? Why would people do that? Does it even count as a viewer if you're not on an account? I'm not saying I'll never play BTD6, but I ran out of ideas for BTD6 for a while. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. 825 likes, that's 27 more likes. You guys can do it. Um, yeah, I banned him. Uh, so uh, I'll do one more game and no matter what after that, we're done though. All right, just be straight with you guys. But uh, PKT6 came with an update sort of recently, and I played a little bit, and like I'm like I'm cool with it, but it's not like super. Ex oh yeah, you guys got it for me. <laughs> See, when I reach, when I give you guys something more meaningful, you guys go for it. It's ridiculous. Though I will say, last time I uh, I asked for likes, you guys gave me the 900 likes that I that I asked for, and then it went down afterwards. You guys started. Unliking, not disliking, but unliking the video. Anyways, uh, I'm going to pick my own towers here. I'm going to go for something interesting. This is still somewhat, somewhat meta. We're going to go uh, attack shooter, mortar, and we get a third tower. And super monkeys are kind of my late game tower choice right now, but I want to try something different. Surrender is an option. I don't think spike factors should be useful. Snipers are too expensive to be useful. Let's go elk. Oh. All right. Well, there it is. There it is. He's gone. All right, we get in the wall again. Let's go. A dartling into druids. You know, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I could see that going pretty good, actually. Uh, just don't forget that druids can still pop a lot of stuff themselves, and the whole point is you gotta lose the lives after you get the ability. So anyways, we got druid, mortar, and then... Uh, I don't really want to do spike factory, though. Alright. We'll do it. And we'll do it hard. I already have like 80 hours on battles too. I'm not sure how much of that is downtime, just sitting there doing nothing, but um, it's weird. Oh, thank you. You know, I don't do anything to my, my beard. Just let it grow out, shave it off. Let it grow out, shave it off. So, uh, one thing you can do with uh, textures here is you can go full out income, man. Freaking full, full out income. This is going to be a long term income game, guys. <laughs> What's wrong with this combo? This is a fun one. I have over 100 hours. How do you, can you guys really look at my crap? Last time I looked, it was like 80 hours. Alright, so we're going to go for the fast shooting here. I'm going to wait on the super fast shooting until I absolutely have the money full out. I'm going to go reds, I'm going to go blues, I'm going to go greens, and I'm going to go yellows. Alright, screw the whites. If you want to go income, this is how you got to do it, guys. Get a tower that can fit almost freaking everything. And then, uh, set up the balloon at the right time. Just get the 315. We're going to go 320. Go full blues after that. Full blues. Ah, oh, it's not space blue. <sighs> Life sucks sometimes, guys. Life sucks. So let's get our hero going. Put him right about here. Put him on strong. I like strong because he does damage as a hero. You can notice he can pop blues into nothing. So, uh, if you hit whites or blacks or rainbows, you can pop through multiple layers. And as he gets higher and higher, you can be able to pop through more and more layers. So it's kind of more powerful as time goes on with that damage. So we have a Dartling Gun player over here. That's fair. That's fine. That's doable. That's reasonable. You can do that. I'm not going to hate you for it. Ooh, a double dose of Dartling Gun on each side. Hmm. Alright. I guess that's fine. 
if that's what you want to do, my good friend. All right, full greens. I just hate how little income I feel like greens give you, you know? So I'm going to go for a small little baby tech here. Just a long range tack. I think that's going to keep me in the game here. I don't want to go crazy. I just want to get just enough. Just enough to defend. And if I need to, I can switch this into whatever the heck I want. I can go for a, a blade shooter with more tacks, faster shooting, or whatever. Honestly, to be straight with you guys, I think the more tacks blade shooter alchemist combo is the freaking answer. I think you can do a lot of crap with that. So we got, we're going full greens right now. Full greens. We're up to almost 600 already. I'm going to switch into whites just a little bit here while I wait for uh, my big yellow rush. Maybe we can even do some damage with these whites, dude. You never know. You never know. Here we go. They're all on top of each other. We're going to boost. We're going to set up the yellows afterwards. He is defending, though. Somewhat surprisingly. He's still defending. And there we go. We finally get the boost out of him there, guys. Finally get the boost out of him. Don't forget, though, we are up to 700 income right now. So you can see Oban skipping the pink layer, moving down right to yellows. That's why Oban can be a pretty sexy tower. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go for a blade shooter again. This is a double dose of blade shooting. I'm going to hold off on getting fast shoot, though. I'm going to go for the more attacks and even more attacks. Now, the reason why this is an interesting tower is that they're actually both pretty decently even with each other as far as popping power is concerned. But the main difference here is if you alchemize... The more blades, you're getting more alchemizing throwing power, basically. So, that's kind of weird, but it'll actually play out good in the long term, I think. Thank you, Dawson. I know, I'm up super late, dude. I did, a, like, a 4 o'clock in the morning live stream a couple weeks ago. A couple days ago, actually. I think it was, like, last week at some point. I have no idea what it was. Somewhat recently. Um, go here, 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 here. Round 11. Alright, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go for a little bit more income. I want to try to bait out a rush. I want him to camel rush me. Maybe I didn't want him to rush me. Maybe I didn't want him to rush me. We got to get some defense going, boys. We got to get some freaking defense going. All right, here's my mortar. We're going to go for a second mortar. We're going to build him over here. We're going to go for a heavy shells in preparation for a... Uh-oh, here we go. We got a battle energy this again. And we do defend this time. We got a better defense. Those purples cannot take us down this time. He wasted a lot of money on those rushes, though. I think I can finally start to go for my income. All part of the plan, boys. Six lives, six lives. You know, it's just part of the plan. Now, though, I do have Maltroms available to me. So we'll see if we want to go for some sort of Maltrom play if Poop hits the fan. Um, I got to watch out for Camo Blooms, though, because I really, truly am relying on one tower for all of my cam detection. So I'm going to go for a second Signal Flare here. Up to Fast Reload, Rapid Reload. Now I've got Double Dose. I've got one over here and one over here. There's no way a purple or a pink or something else is going to sneak through. There's no freaking way. I don't believe it. And I can wait... Go through Moebs here. Mm, yes. Maybe. Alright, we got Moebs, boys. We got Moebs. One, two Moebs. I'm going to also go for this guy on my side. He's still going blue income, which is kind of odd. I guess I can go for a quick overdrive here if I need to. He's got a decent loadout. Hydro Rockapod, boom boom. Good play, good play. Uh, we'll defend a Moeb. Probably we'll defend a reinforced Moeb, but honestly, I think BFBs are going to start to be an issue for him. So we'll see if we can rush him with a BFB right away around 18. Honestly, on my side, same thing, guys. Cannot defend a BFB easily, but I think I can defend it with two towers. I think I can get an overdrive. I think I can get a, a quick artillery battery. And I think that tower combo will be enough. Six lives? Who cares? If it's not zero, it doesn't matter. Here we go. We got our first Moa brush coming out. Here's our overdrive. <sighs> Dude, we're down, 
We're down to four lives now, and I don't have any battle energies left. All right. Well, this is worse than I thought. This is way worse than I thought. But it's not over yet. Um, I don't know how I feel right now. I can tell you that much. I can tell you I'm not super happy with what's going on. All right, we're going for a reinforced PFB here. He might counter rush me with an, uh, with another reinforced PFB or reinforced Moabs. Grouped ones, who knows, dude. Okay, here's our micro. Oh, it is. It's a re. Oh my god, reinforced BFB, reversal. It's a reversal, boys. All right, we're gonna blue boost this just to see what the heck happens. We're gonna go for artillery battery. We're down to four lives right now, though. Goodness gracious, he's gonna boost. He's gonna do an early boost. Here's my artillery battery, though. I'm gonna alchemize him. We're gonna alk our artillery battery. Don't forget, I got an ability here. Don't underestimate the ability. Don't underestimate artillery. Oh, we annihilated it. Oh, baby, we annihilated it. No problem. Oh, 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 he's struggle again. He's going to get a boom boom up there. <gasps> Can we do it? Oh, we heard it. Yes, we do. We take him down. Four lives remaining, guys. Didn't even need to use our mortar ability there. All about that alchemization. Elked up mortars, elked up tax, elked up everything equals elked up delicious win with four lives left. Good game, guys. Ridiculous strategy, ridiculous win. And that's where we gotta call it for the day, my friends. Reinforce PFP. Reinforce PFP. Yes. <laughs> it was a good game. It was a good game, guys. I will admit it. <laughs> oh, sadly, uh, your first game in six years equals we gotta go. So, um... Four, three lives too many for us, JP. <laughs> you gotta live dangerous, guys. You gotta live dangerous. Yeah, if you guys want to, you guys can hit that like button. If you want to, you guys can make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm gonna do for you guys? I'm gonna bling myself out. Alright, let's end this out. Let's bling ourselves. Look at a kite Moab. We'll get a junkyard zone, oh my god. We'll go barbed wire. We'll go vanish. We'll go Moab Mauler. We'll go Funky Blue Boost. We'll go Disco Tower. We'll go Zone, oh my god. We'll go Wow. We'll go Sunk. We'll go Googly Eyes. We'll go Plushies BFB. All right, there it is. We got everything unlocked. Sweet. 12 of 12, season one. We got them all. Make sure you get them in season one, guys. You only got 12 more days to get them all. Otherwise, they gone, I think, forever. If not, they'll probably go up in price. So it'll be like a lot more monkey money, you know, on a random, like, buy the old last season's crap. This is where you pick all your stuff. All right, that's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Oh, everybody's just hanging out. Nah, I'm done for the day, guys. I'm done. Um, I appreciate you guys coming in here. Uh, it's really late for me. It's 1.16 in the morning. I gotta get ready to go to bed. I'm getting my um, my third dose of the vaccine tomorrow. So, uh, I gotta make sure that I got I, uh, uh, I try to get a video for you guys up and get my vaccine tomorrow and get up in time to make all that happen. So, that's gonna be a rough night. Now, I don't want to open up these crap chests, man. Look at these garbage... Look at these... I can't even open this. Why is it shiny and crap? I think the only people that are sheeps are the people who listen to uh, the media that says that vaccines are bad. Vaccines in no way are bad. Vaccines are actually a very, very good thing. I'm actually thinking for myself in this situation because, believe it or not, I have my degree in biology. And not only do I have my degree in biology, I have the logic and ability to respect the authority and the knowledge that not just a doctor has, but hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of doctors have that say that vaccines are not only a miracle of science, they are probably the, one of the craziest things that have ever existed in the entire world. So, if there's ever anything that I'll argue with about with anybody, uh, I would say that, uh, and again, I feel free to hate me for this. If you want, that's totally fine. I will say that you're not necessarily stupid for not getting the vaccine. 
but you are being stupid by not getting the vaccine. And by being stupid, the main thing that I'm saying is you are selfish. All right. I honestly believe it. I think you are selfish if you don't get the vaccine, unless you have some actual, real medical reason for not doing it. Um, you know, some people say, freedom! Blah, 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 blah. But sometimes the country has to do uh, uh, certain things that will help not just the individual person, but society as a whole. And I still think, again, even if you say that mandates are bad, I would argue with you that mandates are a good thing. Um, polio. Eradicated. Um, you're also saying mandate. Oh, this is the first mandate that's ever existed. <laughs> Try to go to school without getting your vaccines for um, whooping cough and uh, meningitis and other things. You can't. You can't go to school. You can't go to middle school. You can't go to high school. You can't go to college without your vaccines. They're already mandated as part of going to school. So, um, you're just wrong if you think that the COVID vaccine is magically somehow different. All right? Nonetheless, nonetheless, and again, I'm not an expert in this. Uh, all I can tell you is that I have a bachelor's degree in biology. So... Um, you know, you can hate me for it, and that's okay, because I honestly believe I'm on the right side of history. And when you believe you're on the right side of history, you don't care if the haters are going to hate, because you know that in 20 years, when people look back at this, they're going to say, wow, I was actually an idiot about that. SJB was right. Okay? So, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Unvaccinated people are selfish right now, mostly because if you look at the hospital system, you might not know this. Um, you have to actually pay attention to uh, the news uh, for this kind of information, and or you actually specifically have to be a healthcare worker to know this information. But health, uh, literally hospitals in a lot of places are overwhelmed with uh, people who have COVID. And not only are they overwhelmed with people who have COVID, and when I say they're overwhelmed, I'm like literally like... They're at over 100% capacity in some places. And the problem is, is that you're taking away the ability of a person who's sick because of another reason. You know, whether it's cancer, or having to get their pancreas out, or having a heart attack, or whatever. You're taking away their rights to get normal, regular health care by stealing a bed because you were too stupid to not get vaccinated. And I'm saying it. Too stupid to not get vaccinated. You are being stupid by not getting vaccinated. And that's not true. Hospitals do not operate at 100% capacity. Especially the emergency rooms. They do not op operate at 100% capacity. Though I will say capitalism kind of has pushed hospitals to want to try to um, operate at the highest capacity that they can without anything extra. And that like makes it go bad. But uh, that's kind of an argument that's just stupid you know it just it sucks that it exists but that that is true absolutely you can still get sick if you have the vaccines but you are much less likely to get very sick and you're much less likely to go to the hospital and you're super extremely unlikely to die if you've gotten the vaccines so um uh that's why i think it's important to get the third booster shot because you know sadly with a global pandemic, crap happens. And this was kind of predicted a while back that there's going to be strains of, of this virus because it's so freaking bad that are going to cause some major issues. And sadly, there's a new strain that's ridiculously... Um, and I don't want to be a news channel or anything like that, but you can look this stuff up. You don't have to believe me. But um, I just explained that, Mason. You're selfish because you're stopping other people from getting hospital beds because you're too stupid to get vaccinated. Anybody who ends up in the hospital was too stupid to get it, uh, ended up getting sick, and uh, are causing other people to probably not get a hospital bed when they need it. And that's just silly. But it's sad because it's kind of predicted that uh, new variants could come out. You know, with Delta, people thought, oh, Delta's going to be magically the last variant. No, 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 no. New things can happen. Crap can happen. It's a global pandemic that we've never seen before, ever. And because of all the issues going on and everything, 
Omicron exists now. And I think something like Omicron is like 70% of all cases now, like already. So it's it's happening, you know? And it's super duper, uh, uh, what the heck's the word for it? It spreads super duper easily. So um, the good news is, as far as I can tell, is that it seems to be, and again, don't listen to me though, it's 100%, seems to be less, uh, less deadly. But it could be just that it's less deadly because people, more people are vaccinated. Um, contagious, that's the word I was looking for. So it's, it's tough because it's super duper spreadable. Um, uh, I, that's not true at all, Mason. I don't know where you're getting information from, but that's just wrong. Um, you can't spew out things that are wrong and expect me not to say something. You don't have to believe me. You can think that I'm, I'm wrong about certain things, but I will say that my definite personal thoughts are you should get not only the first two vaccines, you should also get the booster. Um, they will help you out from not getting sick, and at the very least, they will help other people to not get sick around you. Uh, Yeah, you know, it's possible that some people, they don't realize that their first-hand experiences aren't the first-hand experiences of everybody in the world. Somebody says, well, my grandpa got, didn't get sick and blah, blah, blah. Well, my grandpa died of COVID. Okay, so there you go. Uh, so right there, your argument is false, you know? Just because your, your, your family member didn't get sick doesn't mean other family members, other people can't get sick. There's plenty of 40... 30, 40, 50, 60 year old people that are getting sick and dying of these diseases. There's plenty of 70 year old and 80 year olds that still survive the disease as well. But that's why there are statistics. It's not like the hardest thing in the world to understand. It's basically just basic math. The numbers, as long as the numbers come in accurate, are that COVID is very deadly. COVID can still kill you. Um, and I'm not trying to uh, inspire fear. I thought, I honestly be believed that COVID was going to be over in summer. Just straight up. So, uh, <clears throat> I was excited for it. I was ready to just not wear a mask anymore. I was ready to just move on with my life. And, uh, I'm... What is what is the survival rate of uh, a person who is unvaccinated, dude? Not don't don't bundle in everybody who's vaccinated and unvaccinated. That's not an accurate description. First of all, I think one percent is freaking really, really, really deadly. If one percent of people who get this disease die, some people think that that's just a low number. Only one person. That's still a freaking high number. One out of every hundred people that you know and see and feel can die of COVID. It's crazy. You know, a lot of people have parents that are older, grandparents that are older, and all those people have a chance to die. And I'm not just saying this. There's still people who are younger who have a chance to die, too, die as well. And this is where it just gets a little bit silly on the arguments and all that. My main point is that I believe, 100%, if you guys have the chance, you guys should get vaccinated. You know who else got tr vaccinated? Trump got vaccinated. He got vaccinated three times, believe it or not. He got the booster. Yes, they did. You know who else got vaccinated? Almost every single other member of Congress, whether Democrat or Republican. They all got vaccinated as well. You want to know why? Because they're not stupid. All right, they realize that this is a real thing. This is actually dangerous. And this is, could be deadly for a lot of people. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people don't know that, believe it or not. So it, like, it might break your brain to realize that that is, that is something that can happen. There are prominent... Uh, people that can actually get uh, the vaccine, but it's true. It is very true. <laughs> They're being extorted into the vaccine. He literally said on his uh, on his speech thing today or yesterday or whatever it was that he specifically went out of his way to say he got vaccinated and you should too. He's being forced to say that on his own random thing that he's going off on. 
I don't remember what it's called, but he's just going off on a speaking tour or something like that. And he decided to say that? Trump got uh, vaccinated. Just so you guys know, Trump got vaccinated pretty much as soon as possible. And he still ended up with COVID, too. Like, that's the crazy part. I don't remember all the details. I don't remember if he got sick before or after he got vaccinated the first time or second time or whatever, but um, he did get his booster as well, so obviously he thinks it's smart enough to get it. Trump helped make the vaccine, too. He wanted the vaccine to be a real thing. You know, I don't know uh, if... Um, yes, and I believe that it is the smart thing to do to get vaccinated. I believe it's the smart thing for the government to do to force people to get vaccinated because they have to tell stupid people you're being stupid. Stop being stupid. We're helping you by doing this. And it sucks, you know? I don't want it to be the case. I wish everybody was smart enough. Uh, and maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm using the wrong terms here. But I wish everybody was... Um, unselfish enough to take time out of their life to realize that there's a global pandemic going on. And one thing that they can do is get a little tiny baby needle stuck at their arm two times at the beginning of the pandemic and one more time. Oh, it's very true. I will never I will never win this argument against some people, but I would like to believe that there are some people out there that are up in the air and they've only heard uh, uh, certain talking points that they love to parrot. And they're going to parrot them off and parrot them off and parrot them off. And uh, it's going to somehow feed this hamster running in their brain that allows them to just say the same thing over and over and over again. And it somehow proves their point. But I think that some people have to realize that some of their points are illogical in the first place. Um, and or they don't need to keep talking about the point. They need to realize uh, that, again, they have to look at the broader view of things. It's not just about... How many people die of COVID and how many people do this? You're helping other people by doing this. You're helping other people. So why not do it? That's that's my main point. Why not help other people? I don't get why people are afraid of it. I don't. You know what used to happen before uh, vaccines existed? People died. All right. And one of the first things that, uh, you know, like vaccines, you don't want to know what like the first vaccine was, in case you guys were curious. Um, uh, so smallpox, freaking ridiculous, freaking scary, super deadly, basically chicken pox on steroids, super contagious, hurt you, gave you scars all over your skin for almost the rest of your life if you got smallpox in a lot of situations. Very, very, very bad thing. And this one scientist noticed that... Uh, milkmaids, people who used to milk cows, when they got smallpox, they didn't get it very bad. If they got it at all. And they realized that there was a version of smallpox that was very similar to it called cowpox. And these cowpox, literally carried in cows, you would get them, and you'd get some, maybe a little bit of something going on, but it wouldn't hurt you as bad as smallpox. So this guy was like, you know what? Maybe I should infect people with smallpox on purpose. No, not smallpox. Cowpox on purpose. So when they get smallpox, it won't be as bad. And that's basically the creation of vaccines. Now, with technology and research and everything going on, it's not the same way as it used to be. It's not like we insert this thing that gets you sick that allows you to not get sick later. Now, it's literally... Um, and this was actually a new vaccine that works in a completely different way. But it's mRNA which makes proteins inside of your own cells. Those proteins then go out and your immune system's like, oh crap, we gotta deal with these proteins. And then your body is ready for those proteins the next time they come and invade. So it's really cool how it kind of works. You know, um, it's not like they're infecting you with anything, but that's why you kind of can get sick. It's because your immune system's saying, oh crap, we gotta ramp this up like we are getting sick. And that's why you can sort of get like a little bit of a... Uh, flu-like symptoms even though you aren't sick it's just your immune system causing all that for you it's true you know um i, th I like to think that a lot of a lot of you guys are not necessarily super duper old and you can probably remember 
some of your biology lessons and all that, and know that mRNA is uh, kind of how this works. It's kind of like a miracle, you know? It's, it's pretty cool how they did this. I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner. But I guess the whole issue with having it have to be, like, negative 200 degrees or whatever, negative 100 degrees, and, like, travel that around, it really does seem like... I kind of understand why they kept with the basic idea of vaccines in most situations. It's unbelievably sad. Unbelievably sad that you can have reactions from vaccines. They are extremely minor and extremely rare in most situations. Um... For, uh, again, the betterment of society, if you have 1% ability to die, 0.5% ability to have um, long-lasting COVID symptoms long down the road, 0.25% uh, chance of having major, major um, uh, issues going on because of the disease, or you have a 0.00001% chance of having some issues because of a vaccine. It's just like, the percentages game just, it doesn't make sense when you come at that, come at me with that argument. Um, sadly, as a whole, as a whole, and again, you have to look at this as a whole, not as an individualistic nature, but as a whole, vaccines are one of the best things ever for everybody in existence. Eradicating smallpox, eradicating po polio, um, helping millions of people not get sick from COVID and if they do get sick from COVID having the symptoms be quite minor like all these things are freaking amazing guys yeah I am 100% willing I'm 100% willing to call somebody being stupid for not getting the vaccine You can hate me all you want, man. You can hate me all you want. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm saying you're being stupid. There is a bit of a difference. Because I think that you have the ability to make the right choice. You know? All I can tell you is, what are we at right now? I mean, is the U.S. close to a million deaths or something like that? 800,000 deaths from COVID? I mean, you don't even have to make up numbers. There's only 300,000 people. Uh, 350,000 people in America. So even if 100% of people got COVID, and if only 800,000 people died, I mean, that's only like a 0.33% death rate from COVID. 0.33% of the entire United States, United States has died of COVID. That's a pretty big number, if you ask me, man. It's a pretty de decently big number. Did I say 350, 350 mil? Back when I was in school, I used to always use the number 300 million, believe it or not. Forever, whenever I had to do anything writing articles or writing um, uh, speeches or anything like that, I always had to use the number 300 million. It was just kind of like the general thing. I even remember in school when we did it, we did, uh, they had like the 300 millionth baby. For whatever reason, they were like trying to figure out who the 300 millionth baby was. Nonetheless, it's not worth to talk about this kind of stuff in most situations because you won't change most people's minds. Most people have it already made up. Um, for the few people that are kind of on the fence on things, I hope that um, I can influence you in the tiniest way. Um, again, I believe that I'm on the right side of history here. I don't understand why people are against vaccines. It honestly makes zero sense to me whatsoever. Um, it's, something about, it's something about freedoms and then they realize that, oh, they were already forced to get vaccines before. Oh, they were already forced to do this and this. And they realize, oh, they're forced to drive the speed limit. Oh, they are forced to not break the laws. There are 
things that they're forced to do. You don't just have 100% freedom to do whatever you want. And that's the point of the government, to make sure that people do the right thing um, in most situations. Otherwise, there are consequences, there are laws, there are other things. And that's kind of my, my point here. Um, so... Well, I don't want to. I don't want to make fun of people. And be like, freedom, you know, like, uh, uh, oh yeah, we're not playing the game anymore, man. We're just chilling. Honestly, I'm unbelievably surprised there's 800 people watching right now. We're not playing the game anymore. I do appreciate when people look at more than one um, way at looking at things and critically think about why they believe something that they believe. Uh, I think critical, th critical thinking is should be one of the cornerstones of the education system, and it's not. You, are, In general, people are taught in school, here's a fact, learn it. Here's a fact, learn it. Here's a fact, learn it. And then even in something like English class, oh, here, you want to write an essay? Write it the way I teach you to write it. Okay, every single English teacher is going to tell you they want to write, want you to write a different way. There's no correct way to write. There's no correct way to think. You should be able to critically think about why you believe anything you believe. Whether it's why God exists, whether it's why weed should be legal or illegal, whether it's why you should or should not get the vaccine, you should be able to critically think about why you believe that and uh, have reasoning and evidence to back yourself up for. Especially big things that are society, uh, society, society changing, you know? So, um, what I like to do is I, I like to critically think myself. Why do I believe something? Does it make sense from the other point of view? Uh, one weird thing that I've noticed is especially on like Facebook and things like that, is that one thing I used to do is I used to have some uh, kind of like right-leaning people on my Facebook. And they used to make really long posts about Trump and things like that. And I'm not a very big fan of Trump, I'll admit it. But they used to make all of these really big posts about it. And uh, I used to read them. And I used to try to understand their argument. And I would say, oh, I don't really believe this because of this and this. Well, I don't believe that because of this and this. You know what? That's actually a decent point. Maybe we don't give them a chance about this, this, and this. All right, fair enough. And I used to, you know, critically think about why I believe or don't believe each individual thing they say. Not just as a whole. That is garbage. That is bad. They don't believe with exactly what I believe, so I'm going to throw it in the garbage. And I think more people need to do that. I think more people need to realize that there is not just one way of thinking. You can have a... You can have a lot of different opinions and thoughts, and they can even clash with each other in some situations, and that's okay. You know? Like, I am still, uh, as ridiculous as this may sound, I am in the boat that I believe that capital punishment should still be a thing. I think that if somebody murdered 20 people, he deserves to die. She deserves to die. I think if somebody does something unbelievably terrible and does a mass bombing, they don't deserve to take one more breath. They deserve to die. And some people hate that, you know, and I think almost every state in the entire country has decided that that is not what they should have. Um, and if not, I think it's going to be pretty freaking close soon. So, like, there's there's things that I believe that are, are you know, uh, kind of clashing with the normal society way of, way of thinking. But that doesn't mean that I have to completely uh, up uproot myself from that sort of grouping of people. You know, I'm not like anti-Democrat because, oh, I'm a pro-capital punishment or things like that. It doesn't make much sense. So, uh, well, uh, yeah, all right, all right. Ben Shapiro just talks really freaking fast and then makes weird points that actually don't make any sense when you critical think about them. 
and hopes by the time that he's asking you other weird questions about other things using logical fallacies, uh, that you'll forget about his previous things that he already said and just believe them already. So Ben Shapiro thinks he's like this super intelligent human being that can somehow be above you in some way, but all he really does is, uh, uh, he's almost a good debater is what he is. He, he just sort of floods you with too much information, too much BS to decipher through, and all of a sudden some of the BS gets through and then all of a sudden he, he won, you know? It's like, it takes way longer to prove BS wrong than to spew out BS. And that's his whole thing. He just loves to spew. He spews poop in your face and while you're trying to clean it off, as you try to clean this off, he spews more poop in your face and then he says he won. So I, I don't know, man. That's how I feel like a lot of people do, but that's for sure the way I think about him, man. So be careful with those poops yours, man. <laughs> yes, ad hominem and, and straw man attacks. Absolutely. That's very true. Absolutely. And, like, I'm not even saying I'm a good debater. I, I think I would actually be kind of a bad debater. If somebody was actually in my face complaining to me about something and I had to prove them wrong in some way... I would want to make sure that I have enough time to actually interact and prove them wrong and say you're wrong because of this, this, and this. And I think I could probably do it if there was like times constraints. But if somebody just keeps talking over me and talking over me and talking over me and spewing crap at me that I have to prove wrong time and time again without actually saying anything meaningful myself, then I don't win. I'm going to lose because you're such a good poop spewer. I don't know who Jordan, Jordan Peterson is. Oh, and I never really finished my story from earlier, but I used to read and I used to critically think about these uh, posts that people were reading. And uh, Facebook, what they did to me is they would literally start to only show me these posts. Only show me these, uh, again, right-wing I don't even want to say conspiracy theory posts, but like some of them were very right-leaning, just like, that doesn't make any freaking sense. Why are they even saying this kind of stuff? And then they started showing more and more and more, and then they started showing me groups of these right-wing uh, people, and I was just like, are you, what is Facebook doing here? It's just like, I wanted to read some of their posts, not just like turn into this crazy right-wing person. And I started, I was just like, wow, I've got to get rid of all this. So I actually had to start sifting through my Facebook and deleting posts and saying, I don't want to see this, 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 and it kind of sucked because I liked having both thought processes but they were literally just like, almost shoving it down my throat, like, you have to read this crap, Chris, you have to read it and I'm just like, oh my god, this is garbage whether I'm supposed to be angry about it or agree with them about it or whatever so it was kind of it was kind of upsetting, I completely understand how some people, they uh, especially with like social media and all that it is a major issue. Social media in general just keeps forcing you the same thing over and over and over again. And a lot of it's just regurgitation of other regurgitations of other regurgitations. And all of a sudden you don't have your own thoughts about anything. It's just you saw the regurgitation so much. And people in general are easily swayed. Including me. I can easily be swayed as well. When you read the same thing over and over and over again. Um, it's... Uh, you can be swayed. And you can fall into you know, certain groups. It's just a psychological thing. You want to agree with other people. You want other people to agree with you. You want that as a person, as a human. And no matter how much you try to fight it, it will still, at the very least, exist a little bit.
I've seen one of the major things that I've seen that I've really enjoyed. I think it was CP CPG Gray or whatever his name is. Uh, he posted a video on the two-party system. And he voted a, 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 a an alternate, you know, um, yeah, a multiple-party system and how that could work. And basically, it all boiled down to, no matter what, it's going to end up being a two-party system. And it was like, once you reach a two-party system, you alienate so many people in the middle that it's just, you have to be either in this group or in this group. And then that becomes a very defining part of your life, whether you are part of the Democrats or the Republicans or whatever, you know? And then it sucks because those groups just keep separating and separating and separating. In the government, even 20, 30, 40 years ago, there used to be people who actually voted for other things across the aisle. You could have certain bills that would go up, and you'd have random Democrats vote for it and random Republicans vote for it. And if you got enough votes, you got to make it happen and go through. And now it's literally just 50-50 down the line. Whoever has more, the Republicans have more senators or if the uh, Democrats have more senators, whoever has more senators wins. And it's just like, oh, my God, that's just ridiculous and stupid. It's annoying, actually, to know that the government is basically just designed to almost stall and stalemate everywhere they go. I can tell you if I was part of, um, like if I was a senator, if there was a good bill that went up that was part of the Republicans' bill, I would vote for it. If it was a good bill. If it was a bad bill that I was part of the Democrat, I would say, no, I'm not going to vote for it. That's not good. That's not right. And I wish more people did that. I wish it was more of a, a spread, you know, where people could actually like other people's ideas and all this stuff. And it wasn't just, you're in that group. I'm in this group. I'll never agree with you. You'll never agree with them. Let's just stay separate forever. So it does. It forces some alienation because it's like, what's the point of voting if uh, you, when people are in the government that you voted for are, get up there, they can't even do anything? You know? It kind of sucks. Like, I see people saying that they are not really liking Joe Biden right now because um, I don't. I wouldn't say he's the greatest president. I don't, I, don't, I don't even care. I don't even know what he's done so far. I mean, he's done, like, the infrastructure bill, I guess. That's really about it. But it's like, when you look at it deeply, it's like, well, why isn't he getting things done? And it's like, well, it's mostly because uh, there's this really wide split in Congress that just makes it almost impossible to make anything happen. So uh, how can he get things done? The only thing he can do is write executive orders, and that doesn't do very much. And that's another, that's a great point. Somebody just said, Oh, why would you uh, – somebody just talked about how the bills are not just a one one idea bill anymore. It's not like, oh, we're writing this bill about how schools should get more money. Let's write some things about how schools should get money and then write things about how schools should spend that money. That would be fantastic. No, let's make this bill that has school stuff in it, government stuff, military stuff in it. Let's write this bill about how – video games are going to be banned forever and let's take this bill and let's write about how plastic straws need to be banned and let's write this bill about um I don't know how people are gonna you know give the cops more money to make this happen and it's just like we didn't need all of that in the bill keep it simple and then when you look at the bill like who even reads this crap it's like 150, 200, 500, 1,000 pages in some situations. It's just like whoever even – nobody's going to read that. And if you did read it, you're not going to understand it, okay? Nobody can read a 1,000-page book in, in a couple days and know what the heck's going on with it. Uh, the one main thing I will agree with on uh, about Trump is he can be funny because he's just – you know, it, he'll speak straight, but he is not an honest person. He is a liar, and he lies about almost everything. It's kind of almost ridiculous what he doesn't lie about, to be completely honest. Capitalism at its heart is not a good thing. Capitalism who that is controlled by the government can be a good thing. The idea of capitalism is that obviously the best business should be the business that 
wins it out. And the cheapest way to make products and the cheapest, best way to make products should win out. So capitalism, like, at that basic idea is good. But the problem with capitalism is it turns into mo monopolies, right? Where there's one company that controls everything about everything about a certain product, then they can raise the prices to wherever the heck they want to. Or hurt you in some other way. Um, and I, I can give almost a perfect example uh, of a monopoly to you guys. Uh, for me, personally. I had uh, a friend of mine I'll give you the, the friend example first, and I'll tell you my example. Um, I had a friend of mine who uh, was using AT&T uh, as his internet provider, and he got banned from AT&T for whatever reason. I don't even want to say, I don't even know why, whatever. I think his friend's dad was doing something stupid on the internet, uh, downloaded a torrent or something like that, and got banned from AT&T. Well, then he was forced to use Comcast. So he literally had no other way to get internet besides just using Comcast. And internet is pretty much an integral part of your life. So he had, basically, Comcast had the ability to charge him whatever he wanted if he wanted internet. I'm in kind of the same way. Same way. If I want internet that is over 25 megabits per second, I must use Comcast. Must. There's no other options for me. I don't have any other options. I can't use anything. It's Comcast or AT&T where I live. That's it. How is that not a monopoly? I need internet that's fast. As a YouTuber who plays these games, I must use Comcast, and it's ridiculously expensive. And it sucks. I don't like that. I think that's unfair. Why is there not, like, three or four internet companies that I can actually use um, that are actually competing for price against each other? I'm just stuck. It just... Get what you get. There might be more options for me available in the future, but at this point, I am most definitely stuck with Comcast. Um, I get 300 megabits per second, which don't get me wrong. Again, Comcast hooked me up. They gave me decent size, decent feed internet. I don't have any issues with Comcast besides the fact that it is more expensive, but I'm stuck with them. I don't have, I don't have options. And that's, again, in my opinion, a monopoly. It's like, how the heck is this possible? And then uh, the problem is, is that like money goes into from these companies to lawyers. These lawyers argue certain things in the government, and then the government basically says, "Yes, this is not a monopoly." No problemo. So again, capitalism at its. Uh, uh, at its base, is a good thing, but you need to have regulated capitalism. And by that, you can't have monopolies. You need to break up these giant companies. You need to make sure that companies are actually following the rules that they're supposed to be following in the first place. You have antitrust laws and things for a reason. You have uh, insider trading laws for a re reason. You need to make sure that these companies aren't breaking those laws, aren't doing bad things. Uh, and when they do break these laws, they're not just getting a slap on the wrist like, oh, crap, Chris. You know, you caught us stealing $100 billion. We're going to fine you $7 billion. Oh, wow, $7 billion they're going after this company for. But we we did kind of make $93 billion off this deal. Why would they not do it again? You know, and that's where I have these issues with, like, these fines and things like that. It's like these companies break these gigantic uh, anti... Uh, these gigantic rules, and then they get these little slaps on the wrist. Nothing happens. And they just move on with their life and make more money in the future. It just gets weird. If you watch the movie Idiocracy. In the movie Idiocracy, one of the ideas is that... Uh, I think it's... Costco and Taco Bell are the only companies that exist anymore. <laughs> they're, they're like the only companies that exist anymore. So it's it's like all the companies bought each other out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, welcome to Costco. I love you. Hey, you want to go? Oh, Starbucks. I gotta I gotta take it to the back. Starbucks. Get a latte. And that's where it gets weird because, um, like, Amazon in particular, 
Some people have argued that it is a monopoly, and it kind of is a monopoly, but the government has decided that Amazon is a monopoly, but it hasn't broken rules about pricing yet, where they haven't caused prices to go up, so therefore it's not a monopoly yet. So it's like one of those like, well, it is so big that it can't be, that it's like too ridiculous to, to compete against, but they haven't made it bad for our people yet. So it's not a monopoly. Hmm? Idiocracy is freaking amazing, guys. One of my favorite movies of all time, by far. I have no idea what a great reset would be. I don't think a re great reset would work. I think there's theories that you can come up with. I'm guessing that that's probably what you're saying. Just start it all over. No, I don't think you can just start over, man. You just got to adapt and adapt and adapt. Change it up. Though some people would say that we're not actually in a capitalistic society. We're not in a democracy anymore. We're actually in an oligarchy. Companies are able to give money to politicians to pay them off to do things that they want to do. And therefore, those politicians then vote in the interests of uh, companies. And the number one thing that caused all this to happen, if I remember correctly, the Supreme Court ruled at some point that companies are individuals. And that individualistic nature of them allows them to make donations in whatever way they want to to politicians. Absolutely ridiculous. Makes no freaking sense. Don't know how that exists. It's crazy. Guys, I think it's time to go. I had to turn monetization off on this video because I think we talked about too many um, controversial things. So anybody who watches this gets it for free. We did talk a lot of big things, though, Gate today, guys. We did talk a lot of big things. Um, I don't think I'll ever. T I don't think I'll start a podcast anytime soon. But in my life, I think eventually. I think a podcast would be good for me. Um, I think in the future, I don't know if I'm going to make YouTube videos forever. And especially, I don't think I'm going to play Bloons forever. So if I ever get uh, uh, really bored of Bloons, something that I would probably do in my life is start like a podcast or something like that. If you guys got any more really interesting questions, though, feel free. Hit me up, man. I'm, I'm good for another 5-10 minutes. Uh, I don't honestly believe that people would listen to my podcasts. I think I think I would I would probably it would they would suffer. You know I don't think people would want to listen to them. Uh, but I would be willing to make them because if I could change just a few people's opinions um, in a righteous way, I would like that. the stock market all right i have i am not knowledgeable to make really good opinions about the stock market but what i can tell you is that i think the stock market is overall rigged uh so the major problem in my opinion is that it seems like and some of these companies are literally admitting this, that you'll buy stocks, okay, in a company. Let's say I buy Apple stocks through random stock company A. 
and stock company A says, hey, you own these Apple stocks, all right? Here's your five Apple stocks. You could do whatever you want with them. You can sell them. You can, you can buy more. You can whatever you want. You can just keep them forever. But then they decide randomly that they're going to take my Apple stocks and they're going to go loan them out to somebody else if they want to. So realistically, those Apple stocks that I own aren't actually mine. Company A has decided that the Apple stocks that they have, they're just going to put into a giant pile, and they're going to do whatever they want with them. They're going to give them out, they're going to take some, they're going to come back and back and forth all over the place. So the problem with this is that you don't own the, they don't own those Apple stocks. You own those Apple stocks. You should actually have those paper Apple stocks in your house. Nobody can touch these freaking Apple stocks. But the way trading works right now is it's all electronic. And they're basically saying that you don't actually truly own those Apple stocks until we say you own those Apple stocks. So, the major issue with this is that, uh, for example, GameStop, you guys have probably heard about this by now, has been obliterated uh, in the media, all over the freaking place. It skyrocketed, ridiculous. It, the, the they were they were shorting the crap out of GameStop, like into oblivion. They're trying to kill GameStop. All these big hedge funds and everything. At least this is the idea. They're trying to kill it, and when they kill it, their shorts are worth a lot of money. So it's good, right? Well, some people caught on to this and they said, you know what? What if we just buy all these cheap GameStop stocks and then GameStop starts doing pretty good, man? Well, then we'd make a lot of money and those shorts would all be worthless. So the problem is, is now a bunch of people have gotten in on this and said, hey, screw this hedge fund we're trying to short GameStop and kill it. Let's all buy the GameStop stocks. So bunches of people have bought the GameStop stocks, all right, all over the freaking place. And because the company shorted the crap out of it at just a few dollars, when they have to pay out hundreds of dollars on there's a few dollars of that they should have got had to pay for in the first place, um, they kind of had an issue where they're like, well, we don't have the money to pay off all of these GameStop stocks if it went down this way. So it gets a little wild with, with GameStop and all that stuff. So the problem, again, with the whole GameStop thing is when people are buying the stocks, they're buying it through all of these different, you know, Fidelity and um, all these stockbrokers. And people are, people are saying that they're buying these stocks and they own these stocks, but then these stockbrokers are saying, you don't actually own any of these things. They're ours. And we're just kind of letting you have them when you want to do something with them. So why this gets weird is that uh, people have decided, you know, as a whole, that what they want to do is they want to say, hey, you know what? These GameStop stocks are actually ours. There's so many shorts out there. We have to prove that these people are doing illegal things with giving away our GameStop stocks and just trading things that don't exist and trading shares that aren't actually there. So they're trying to prove it by um, buying the float of GameStop, buying all the shares of GameStop, and then proving that they own enough of GameStop that all this weird, shady selling and buying of stocks actually doesn't exist. All right, it shouldn't be happening. I mean, that's the goal of the people um, trying to do that kind of thing. I don't know if they're going to be successful. Uh, I hope that they are, but it's tough because there's so many people out there that just aren't going to officially lock them up. Um, they're just going to keep them on, uh, you know, different stockbrokers. And it's sad because uh, uh, it probably is actually happening the way they're saying. It probably is these people taking advantage of the system for their benefit. And that's why it's so sucktastic to know that that exists at all. Um... So, you know, we'll see what happens. If you became a, a, a millionaire from the GME Short Squeeze, then you probably already were a very well-off person because you had to have hundreds, if not thousands, if not more than that, and sell literally at the perfect time. Yes, it pro yes that's a good way to put it. It proves that there are too many stocks out there for what actually exists. So... Plus, you shouldn't be able to you shouldn't be able to short a stock more than 100% of what already exists. But that's kind of what they were doing. They were shorting a stock 
and like kind of saying, we're going to lend it to you later. And then shorting that same stock again. Say, oh, we'll get send, pay that to you later again. So it's like you can't, shouldn't be able to. It just seems like that just doesn't make sense. You should just short a stock and short a stock and short a stock and be able to short more than the amount of shares that exist in the first place. What the heck? Precipitation relaxation. Love the name. A lot of ing ingions there. Thank you so much. You're my comfort YouTuber. Long time Bloons fan. Never played Battles. Would you do a Battles 2 tutorial for beginners, first time average? That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to plan on doing that in the uh, next couple of weeks, but don't plan on that super, super soon. Okay, thank you so much for the donation, by the way. That's super nice. Really appreciate it. Uh, but I will get that done um, fairly soon. I don't know when I'm going to do it. It's kind of fun because for last Christmas, I made a BTD6, BTD6, easiest tutorial guide ever. So I kind of want to do a BTD Battles 2 tutorial guide, but it's a little bit more difficult because I'm in BFB Coliseum. I can't just start over unless I make a new Steam account. So you kind of have to, like, it's it's tough to make a super-duper good beginner's guide. Uh, I mentioned this in my previous live stream, but I don't. I own a couple individual stocks, but I, uh, I own... Mostly just whatever the heck they're called, the giant bundles of stocks. Money market funds or whatever the heck they're called. I play at the entire stock market. I don't play at the individual game very much. Mutual funds, there it is. I think NFTs are stupid. I think that right now in the game of NFTs, there are two people. Or maybe three people, depending on how you look at it. There are the suckers... And there are the hustlers trying to rip off the suckers. All right. And then there's this third group of people that are like kind of suckers, but they think they're hustlers. So you really don't know what's going on with the whole uh, NFTs things, guys. Yeah, I would stay away from them personally. I don't think they're going to be a good thing long term. I hope they doubt too, to be honest. They don't make much sense. Yeah, it's a form of gambling, for sure. Uh, and that's why, like I said, I think there's a lot of hustlers trying to hustle the game, and then there's a lot of suckers, and then there's a lot of hustlers that'll turn into suckers. There's a lot of suckers that'll turn into hustlers somehow, and it's just going to end up being the weirdest thing ever. Don't recommend it. And then there's, yeah, everybody else who doesn't give a crap about NFTs because they're garbage. <laughs> That's most people, right? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. If they do become bigger, I mean, that's a possibility that they will become bigger and there will be more suckers than I think. But I hope that you guys are not the suckers, okay? Um, if you are the hustlers, I hope you're the hustler that hustles the suckers. And I hope you're not a hustler that ends up being suckered. Good luck, good sirs. Out in the NFT world. Now you can believe in NFTs. You know, like people believe in uh, uh, it's similar to like a cryptocurrency where it's like it doesn't have any inherent value in itself. It just is inherently valuable because other people want it. Um, and that is a way to go about life. It's a way to do things. Yeah, I mean, I, I at the very least, you know, I am not a... I'm not a great person. Okay, but I like to think that I'm not a bad person. I don't want to rip people off. I don't want to rip you guys off. I don't want to be a hustler. Um, I don't want to be a jerk to you guys. I want to be... I don't want to be a role model either. I just want to be straight with you guys. And I want you guys to hopefully... Uh, uh, feel like I'm a real person. That... Wants to help people out. You know, I, I've gotten a lot of comments. A lot of messages. 
saying, Chris, that you've helped me through a rough time. You've helped me through my depression. You've helped me through um, just watching your videos all the time. I really appreciate your videos. And honestly, I don't think I'm the best video creator ever. I think there's a lot of other people that do a lot of really cool stuff. And I honestly think that they're better than me. But you guys somehow found me and think that I'm good and you like watching me. And that's awesome. You know, if I can bring you up just a little bit and make you feel good, that's fantastic for me. So, uh... The one thing you got to watch out for is there are a lot of YouTubers out there that aren't like me. There are a lot of YouTubers out there that are bad people. Who want to rip you off. Who hide their shadiness. Who hide their crappiness. Um, and I'm not, I don't mean in just like a small way. Like, ooh, he left dog poop on the lawn of somebody's house one time. <laughs> no, he's an evil, terrible person. He deserves to die. No, not quite like that. I'm talking about people who are ripper offerers. Um, people who are secretly, like, animal abusers. Oh my god. It's... It's the freaking worst. There are even the people who, like, some people who are on their animal channels. And they don't realize... You don't realize it. It's so sad. But, like, there's some animal channels out there that they literally, to make enough content for their channel and keep it consistent are animal abusers. They'll buy new animals, not take care of them properly, just do something with them and get rid of them after they're done with them, you know? Uh, it's kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie, I like the YouTube money. I like making money off of YouTube. I really appreciate that YouTube gives me the option to uh, play video games for a living. Not that many people can say that. So I am in YouTube for the money, but I am not going to rip off my fans to make the money happen. I will never do that. There are a lot of people that will, though. I've seen, like, some... Uh, and not all of them. Not all of them. But there's a... Uh, yeah, like, like I, I like to take care of my fish. I, I don't try to, like, show off my fish or anything like that, but... Um, I've had fish issues uh, with your aquarium. You know, fish don't live forever. You know that. But if you have your fish living for a couple weeks, you know, you got some freaking major issues. You know? You can't just have fish live for a couple weeks and then get new fish and then have a couple for a week and get new fish. It just doesn't work that, work that way. Uh, animal abusers? Absolutely. Ridiculous. Um, I feel bad, uh, specifically for, um, the, and again, I think like, it's weird because there's, there's some people out there that are just out there on YouTube because they're kind of like a narcissist. They're full of themselves. They believe that they are the god of the world and so many people watch them because they're awesome. But no matter what, you're going to find a group of people that will probably follow you if you yell enough and are loud enough and say enough things. You know? I've even seen some pretty cra crazy racist people out there that people love to follow. I've even seen people in chat. Like, I've seen a couple videos of these live streamers that go out and just say a bunch of racist things all the time. And then the chat is egging them on. Like, do this racist thing. Slap that guy because he's the wrong color. Or do this because that guy's the wrong color. And it's just like... Chicka chicka what? Chicka chicka what? There's a lot of bad people out there. There's also a lot of good people. So follow, try to find the good people if you can. Try to not find the fake good people as well. Yeah, I should go to bed, man. I have one dog. Got Luna. She's sitting underneath my, my feet right now. Uh, one of the examples is, um, there was this scientist guy, like, backyard scientist or something like that, that people really liked, and I never watched him, but, um, people found out that he was a pedophile or something like that, and I was just like, oh, wow, like, that's pretty big news, like, you're a big YouTuber, people love you, people always talk about how awesome you are, and then you find out something like that, just like, well... There you go, dude. 
You hope that he just gets completely unbelievably cancelled, but sometimes they don't. That's the worst part. Sometimes they just don't get cancelled. Just like, oh crap. Um, Gus Johnson. I actually watched some of his skits, and I liked them quite a bit. And then uh, people kind of did some canceling cancel culture on him because they found out that he was uh, 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 abusive to his wife. It's just like, oh, there you go, man. That's sad. It's sad to hear that some of the people that you looked up to that you thought were really awesome and really funny were like actually really crappy people. Don't quote me. It was some scientist guy. Some scientist channel. I don't remember what it was called. Happy scientist, I think. The happy scientist faces child porn something. Pedophilia defending YouTuber has channel removed. Something something. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cause hate hate on anybody, especially if it's false hate. Alright. Not the backyard scientist. It's the happy scientist. But again, I don't watch any of these people. I don't watch I don't watch this stuff. It's just it's sad to hear that like there's a lot of YouTubers out there that you know people are look up to a lot and then you find out really bad things about them. There's other people too that like there's a lot of cancel culture going around for a lot of different people because they're just pieces of poop. Worst part is being a piece of poop doesn't necessarily mean that you are not going to be popular anymore. There's still going to be people that are going to keep watching even though you are a giant piece of poop. I should have stopped about 30 minutes ago. I would say my happiness level is about no don't don't stop saying that um uh i would consider myself most of the time probably like 6 or 7 out of 10 happy i got a lot you know you get those days where you're a 2 or a 1 you get those days I rarely have a day where I'm a 10, though. You know? You don't have that many times when you're just, like, super happy. Really get nines. I'm just mostly content. You know? I'm okay with my life. Life is okay. Life is good. Life isn't bad. Life is not amazing, either. Let's be clear. I said it was like the backyard scientist or something like that. And it was not something like that. It was indeed the happy scientist. And I don't know if that was proven or whatever. I think it was. I heard him getting canceled, so I'm going to go with it that he probably is. Not that I care very much. Cancel people get to get canceled, man. I almost got canceled before. People were upset with me because of mods. I still feel salty about mods because of these people. I specifically reached out to a guy who made a public mod. Public mod. And I said, hey man, do you mind if I use your mod? It's freaking public. For a video. He never responded. And I was like, you know what? It's public. I'm going to go for it because I am also part of the public. 
and I made his video and I gave him a shout out in the video and he said that he didn't give me permission and therefore he wants me to do something 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 and he got a couple other you blues youtubers to create hate videos out for me um, that were literally saying not only dislike my video but make sure you come and dislike hate on me make all the comments about how terrible I am as a person and all this stuff and it was garbage it was pure and utter garbage I got hate on my videos for no joke a couple months from these things and I came out and I made a a partial apology video I told people straight up I don't think what it was wrong I think these people coming after me are the people who are doing what's wrong but I'm gonna apologize for saying uh, some things that I said during that video and then people got even more enraged about how I didn't say uh, how I am super apologetic, even though I believe that I was in the right, or at least not in the wrong wrong, you know? So, uh, again, it was just, it was annoying. It was really sad. And it was really just a lot of haters coming out. And the problem was, is the haters caused a bandwagon effect. More people were like, oh, we're canceling SJB? All right, let's cancel him. So they were just excited to go and dislike my video and cancel me and all this stuff. And it was very upsetting because, like, I really felt like I didn't do anything wrong. Um, or at, least, at the very least, seriously wrong. <laughs> Nothing to get canceled over. But uh, it was very annoying for several months. And I was specifically not going after these other guys. I did not specifically say, hey, go dislike their videos for being jerks, you know? Um... So that's that's the point is you can't you can't apologize when you didn't do something wrong. Um, I'm not apologizing for something that that isn't wrong, but I still feel salty about all of that, and that's why mods for me were such gigantic, annoyingly stupid thing for such a long time, and I stayed away from mods. Ninja Kiwi said they didn't like them. Ninja Kiwi said don't do them. Everybody else was doing them. All of a sudden I do them. I get super crazy hated on by other people for doing mods, and then Ninja Kiwi also is just like can't do mods, Chris. Don't do mods. Blah, blah, blah. Do I expect people to buy my merch? Great question. Let's go look. Let's see. I have no idea. I have not looked yet. I put it up, and I spent a decent amount of money making sure my shirts were good and nice and everything. And honestly, if I sold even more than probably 5, 10 shirts, I'd be happy. All right, here we go. We have six orders placed for eight units sold. There was one on November 30th. There was two on December 3rd. One on December 13th and one on December 14th. That's it. <laughs> so no, not very many people are buying my merch. I don't expect it. I don't really care that much. If people want to get it, I want to give them the option. People have been asking for it for me for forever. Uh, right now, there is a holiday sale going on. It's like holiday 15 or something like that for 15% off. you got to look on Teespring. Make sure you guys check that out. But uh, I think it's only on sale until Christmas. So... The second thing about merch is that I make almost no money off of all, uh, almost any of the orders. So it's all about what is the markup from the markup that already exists from the, the thing with Bob. I only make a couple bucks off of each each thing. Um, I try to make the shirts as, as cheap as possible for people who really want to get them. I try to make the hoodies a pretty fair price if you want like the premium hoodie. Um, I definitely want to recommend the uh, the shirt. The premium shirt was freaking amazing. I love this thing, dude. It's so soft. It's so soft. I like. I want to wear it all the time, man. This is such a good material. It's the. Uh... 
whatever it's called. The polyester version. It's like a tri-blend. Tri-blend is what it was. Huey Ho, thank you. Been a long time fan. Kisses. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Believe it or not, YouTubers pay likely more taxes than the average human being. Um, the main difference between taxes that somebody uh, who works at a job has is that usually uh, Social Security, it's like, I forget what the number is, 8% or it's, I think it's like 15% total, but you're normally 7.5% of your Social Security tax is paid by your employer, and you pay this other 7.5%. For self-employed YouTubers, they pay the full 15% in the Social Security tax. So um, it sucks to be self-employed. Sadly, you have to pay more taxes than the average person. Um, you do get some benefits, like I get to, for example, if I buy my green screen, or if I buy a computer or something like that, I can write it off on my taxes because it is for my job. So that's kind of how YouTube taxes work. Um, it kind of sucks. Taxes are never fun. Uh, one other interesting thing about it is that I'm supposed to know how much money I'm making and you're supposed to pay estimated taxes. So every three months, I'm supposed to give the money to the government and say, hey, this is my estimated payment here, here's my estimated payment here, here, and then at the end of the year, you're like, all right, now it's time to pay my freaking taxes. Go, go, did I miss you, bro? I did, I missed you. Go, go, 606, Mr. Bombo, what's your advice with getting in contact with YouTubers? I wanna get my music out there and give it to them for free use. That's a tough one. Uh, I think the problem is, is like, music is a very specific thing that I don't think that many YouTubers really need. Um, and I don't mean any offense by this. But, sadly, if somebody can go on, like, non-copyright sounds or find a website that just has a thousand different songs that they can use, use for something, they're probably going to do that instead rather than downloading your song in particular and then using it in a video. So you can reach out and give people songs and tell them, hey, use my song. You have to link it at the end. But I don't think people are going to do that. Um, your best bet, in my opinion, is leave it up on SoundCloud or something like that, and or if you can get it on like Spotify or whatever, and just say it's free use. I appreciate credit, but it's not necessary. Uh, and then people will probably find you, you know? That's probably the best way to get out there. But I don't mean any offense by that, but I think reaching out to individual YouTubers is probably not the best way to go about it. But if you, if there are YouTubers that are looking for music or something like that, you can reach out to them. I mean, just give them a quick email, give them a quick Discord um, message or something like that. I allow people to message me on Discord. Bigger YouTubers probably don't. Um, emails uh there's a lot of spam emails in the world i get probably like seven eight emails a day and i usually get seven or eight spam emails a day very rarely or something that looks looks okay i would order a size up on the shirts they ended up being a little bit on the skinny side so uh i did wash them in just regular water I didn't try to do anything particular with them with uh, not drying them after or anything like that. I just washed it and they came out pretty good, but they are a little bit on the short, on the small size. Normally I'm a, uh, normally I'm either a, a large medium or a small large. In this situation, I got a large and it fit pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the large. They're kind of skinny though. They like fit everywhere else, but a little on the skinny side. Oh man, that's a tough question. If YouTube didn't work out, what is my ideal job? My ideal job? I don't know. I don't know where I would be right now if I didn't have YouTube. But I can tell you that my job that I would likely be working is some sort of microbiology job. I honestly probably not like my life. I think that the microbiology job would probably be very unfun and kind of sucktastic, to be completely honest. Um, I've, I've heard that uh, I used to follow the biology subreddit and one of the weird things about the biology subreddit, that's not true, I'm looking at Twitch, just give me a minute. Um, uh, so, I forgot what I was talking about. 
guys distract me, man. Well, I guess it's too late. I guess we'll just have to end the stream. Biology subreddit, that's right. And the biology subreddit, there are uh, a bunch of people on there, and they said, hey, are you guys still doing biology type stuff as your job? And like 90% of people were like, no, I found a job in chemistry, I found a job as a teacher, I found a job at a university, I found a job as a chef, I found a job as something else. I stopped working as a biology job because it sucked. And bloop, makes sense. I believe it. It doesn't seem like a fun job. And the pay was not good. Uh, when I was out, getting out of college, and get, keep in mind this was about seven-ish, eight-ish years ago when I started looking for jobs. And when I was looking, I had to sign up through a recruiter to even get an interview for anything and I still never got an interview even after signing up for a recruiter and uh, the pay was $15 an hour to get in and then on top of that the recruiter takes a cut of that for the first three months or six months or something like that so it was really like $13.25 an hour I'm really not that fit. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. I think the only thing that makes me look good is my arms are naturally fairly strong. I don't do bicep curls or anything, guys. They're just there. Don't know why. Yeah, there's a lot of jobs that suck, guys. I'm sorry. Please don't spam. My favorite video I've ever done. Believe it or not, one of my favorite videos that I ever made. I was so excited. So excited for this video. It was something about... In Battles 1, I think? You needed to click a lot to send out balloons. You couldn't just hold it down. You had to click every single time. That's why I have freaking wrist problems these days, guys. So I made a video where I went for a lot of income. And in this video, I was just kept clicking it and clicking it and clicking it. And eventually, I got all sweaty. And eventually, I got all bloody. And eventually, I was, like, dying trying to click this thing a million times. And something, something, something. I don't remember exactly how it went down or how it ended. People hated it. People freaking hated that video. If I could, if I could go back, or not even go back, if I could go forward and get some sort of job, I would not mind being like some sort of professor, some sort of teacher. Uh, I think I would like to do some sort of college work. I don't think I'd want to deal with kids. You know, once you're over 18 plus, like you can handle your own crap. That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> yes, from mortaring all the micro. Dom Guam, dude, I feel you. I am very lucky. I don't have a gambling addiction, but I can see how easily it can screw you up. A couple of my friends are, uh, I don't want to say addicted, but they're they are hardcore gamblers, man. I mean, they're, they're like gambling on uh, e sport games every day. They're gambling on um, a, rid a ridiculous amount of stuff. And the, the way they like to gamble is they like to gamble on uh, what are they called? Parlays. Where they'll have to watch like three or four different games 
just to win and like have like three or four things go right to win money. And it's like you just bet like five bucks on it or something like that, which to me is still a decent amount of money to gamble. And if you win, you win three hundred dollars. But the chance of you winning, all of these things have to happen. Everything has to go right. So, uh, what people need to do for gambling is you need to have a set amount of money that you're allowed to spend every month that you feel comfortable with. And you do not go over that amount. Whether you lose it all, or whatever. You say, this is how much money I got this month. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. Put it into account for yourself. Put it into cash for yourself so you know that that money is gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. You can't deal with it. Whatever you feel comfortable with it. So... That's my opinion on gambling. I mean, there's no easy answer, uh, but you got to watch out because gambling on sports might lead to gambling in the stock market, and that could be even more devastating because gambling in the stock market might feel like, ooh, one good win can make your, your life so much easier, but one good loss can make your life suck forever. All right. You can literally go negative if you, if you, if you start playing with options and stuff. It gets, it gets bad. Don't do it. Don't, in my opinion, don't do it. Uh, the one thing that I would do as a... Uh, non-gambling man is I would never play options or shorts. I would never do any of those at all. I would never go on margin in particular. You know, that that's a great way to lose a lot of money. And I would never... Uh, if you're going to do stock market stuff, just buy stocks you like. Hold them. Sell stocks you don't like when you don't like them anymore. Do that. But the main thing is to buy them. Buy them and just hold them. If you find some stocks that you like, keep them forever. It's easy, too, because you don't have to pay taxes or anything. You just keep them. You don't have to pay taxes until you sell. I was talking about NFTs earlier, but I think NFTs are terrible. I think they're garbage. I've been to a casino probably like four times in my life. Um, I've... I've lost, uh, th three times I went to the casino, I've lost, I had $50, that was my set amount that I said I was willing to lose. I lost $50 three times, or I lost $50 two times, then I ended up with like $8 at the end of the other time. Uh, and then the other time though that I went, I went to Vegas, and I won like $600 or something like that, 700 bucks. Might have even been more than that. Uh, on a, uh... Frickin' slot machine. It was like $650 or something like that that I won. And then, uh... I kept playing this game called Dragon Spin. And I kept going to the Dragon Spin machines that people ended up with $0 where they left. And I kept playing Dragon Spin. And I ended up winning like $18 here, $25 there, $13 here, $17 there. I ended up winning like an extra 100 bucks on Dragon Spin. So, I definitely had a good time in Vegas when I went gambling, man. I very tough to come out on top. I have I have mixed thoughts on crypto. Um It's hard for me to make a reasonable thought process without being biased about crypto but if I really had to say something I would say that the major if issue with cryptos is that anybody can make a new one and because of that there's always going to be too much competition in the crypto space and there's never going to be one, two, or three cryptos that are just automatically the best cryptos, and all the rest just die off. There's always going to be those 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 different cryptos that people really like and say, this is the top crypto because this is the way it's going to work. It's going to work fantastically because of this, this, and this, and this. And because there's too much competition in the crypto world, they're almost all going to fail, in my opinion. And I, would, I shouldn't say fail. It's just they're never going to become fully, fully mainstream. I don't think. Um, 
And the major issue with cryptos in general is that they're not user friendly. If there was a crypto out there that made it easy for you to have a wallet, use the wallet effectively and easily, without just saying, oops, I accidentally typed the wrong thing, my money's gone forever, uh, then you got, you got me there. Okay, but when you can just literally, if you're sending money to somebody and you can accidentally type in the wrong freaking number and then it's just gone forever, well, that's not good. That's not good at all. So I don't. I definitely feel like there's some issues with crypto. It's it's tough to say that it's going to be super mainstream and super effective and super good. So good luck. Good luck if you're a huge crypto fan. It feels nice. I will say the idea behind it is cool. To say screw the government, let's go crypto. Uh, but to say that it's going to take place of 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 dollar bills in all the countries is just delusional. I don't need to talk about whether or not I can beat or not beat other YouTubers. There's no point to talk about that nonsense. Maybe someday we'll have some sort of YouTubers tournament, or even, I'm not, I'm not gonna say for sure, but I feel like there are, there is a chance that at some point next year, there might be, might be, okay, maybe, maybe, not for sure, not set in stone, some sort of Ninja Kiwi YouTuber tournament. Like, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of Ninja Kiwi staff playing together against each other. This is not secret information or anything like that, but it does seem like there could be something like that happen. happening. At this point, I probably won't go back to school, but it's not out of the question. Um, uh, I don't have faith in Ninja Kiwi making this an actual mainstream competitive game, as far as esports and stuff is concerned. I think Ninja Kiwi sucks hard at trying to make things like uh, the next level of big. So they don't like to organize stuff. They don't like to organize stuff like that. If they organized a tournament, people would show up. People would for sure show up. I don't think they'll ever organize a tournament. So, you know, I'll be honest, I was hardcore on Ninja Kiwi when the game came out. I was upset. You know, I started off, I gave them the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, let's play this out, let's play this out, let's see how it's going to go down. I bought VIP, I'm playing with VIP, and uh, I can actually unlock things, third tiers, in just a little bit. And then once I got to fourth tier, I was just like, this is freaking ridiculous. I, I'll, I'll play like for 60, 60 hours to unlock a fifth tier tower. It makes no sense. And then they came out, and they fixed it partially. Then they came out again, and they fixed it even more. I don't think they're going to do too much more to experience. I think they're going to give us a little bit more with um, some universal XP type stuff. But they're not going to go too crazy with it. I agree with you 100% Lightning Gamer. Um, I think that they need to fix things when they're broken. Fast. They can't just update one big bundle. Like I, I don't know. It sucks. It really sucks when you see Dartling on every single game, when you see Ninja every single game, when you see Sniper every single game. I really wish they came out with um, uh, more petite updates here and there. But I think uh, somebody told me, and I'm not sure if this is true, that Ninja Kiwi is already on their holiday um, break. So it looks like no update is going to happen until definitely after the holidays. And honestly, they, they probably deserve it. 
take a good break. The game's in an okay place right now. It's not horrible. It's okay. Man, my ear is still broken, guys. It is most definitely hard to try different strategies without VIP boost. With my VIP boost, I have played. Let's look at my play count. Keep in mind, I've played for 22 days at this point. 22 days, I've played 430 games. That adds averaging like 6 games a day. No. 22. Let's do the calculation. 430 divided by 22. 19 games a day. <laughs> I've been I've averaged 19 games a day in battles too, guys. That makes me feel bad about myself to be completely honest. Wow. All right. 430 divided by 233. I have. Oops. 233 divided by 430 equals. I have a 54% win ratio, which is awful. <clears throat> I did go in buying the 90 day uh, VIP pass. They still have the 90 day? They do. I think this was the go this was the winner for me. I think 90 days is perfect. I'm gonna pay $12 for battles too. I'll never play another dollar to the game. I don't think. Um, I don't know what the heck the point with this extra chest slot was. That thing's stupid. I get an extra daily reward, but that thing's kind of stupid too. So, hey, hey, hey! Oh, they actually increased this stuff. All right. It used to be one and one, or ten dollars and one. They finally increased it to something more reasonable. Chests are weird. Uh, right now, the reason why chests make sense is because you do get that XP bonus out of them. But only in the uh, possibly in the great chest and definitely in the uh, other th the other chest, the great the grand chest or whatever. Yes, I have heard about a casual mode. Um, XP for social games. I don't understand how that's gonna work. I don't know. I don't know. Mighty chest. Yes, that's it. That's that can't be true. I've never gotten more than one battle token. I've gotten one battle token. Or two battle tokens every time I've unlocked that thing. There's no way it's between one and five. Is that true? Every single time I've gotten the least amount? Every time? I find that hard to believe. And I've gotten like ten monkey money like every time. Maybe they maybe Ninja Kiwi hates me and they just decided to give me the worst of the worst. Oh! <gasps> Chest multipliers do not stack. Thank you. That actually does help me out. I would have totally done that. I, I wanted my five times. Do they at least add on next to each other? So you get a two times um, for a bonus, and then you get to... Uh, uh,
Yeah, I think... I don't know if I'm going to go for Hall of Masters, guys. I don't know. I, 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 like, want to. But at the same time, the only way to do it right now is if you're really going to go hardcore meta. You have to. And you have to go ninja. Ninja sniper at the very least. And then you get a third tower as your choice. Uh, I'd probably go dartling gun. Though there are other options. Um, I think the main tower you're going to probably need is ninja. You don't need sniper. But you probably want to go them. If I saw people going into Masters without those tower loadouts, I would be thoroughly impressed. I got up to, believe it or not guys, I got up to 87 trophies. And then I started doing uh, some videos where I had to basically lose trophies almost on purpose to make this happen. I started just unlocking random ninja sniper XP, and I was playing with second tiers and barely third tiers. Spike, spike Factory could be another option. Go good middle path Spike Factories. For the people who watch Tyler and I stab, I have not watched any of their videos. Did they get there using Ninja and Sniper? Or one or the other? I'm going to guess they did both Ninja and Sniper. Tyler is definitely a meta player, dude. When we started, when we were playing together, he only was using... Quincy, Tack, Alchemist. That's it. That's all he was using. Dart Farm Ace, really? Interesting. I could see Boomerangs being part of that. We'll see. I might start the grind, guys. I've got 12 days left, so we'll see how it goes. They have to get bored, though. Don't don't they? I don't I don't know. I that's why I've I've been having fun doing weirdo. I liked having my random towers today, guys. You guys were just throwing random crap at me. It was tough. We used some weird combos to win some games. Alright guys, I gotta go. I've got my vaccine early in the morning tomorrow. Well, in the afternoon. Early in the afternoon tomorrow. So I want to make sure I'm ready for that. Um, so, I'm gonna head out, my friends. We'll see you guys next time. Good night, and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Goodbye, everybody!